So, welcome to my strange, silly, one-shot skeleton game. Uh, the reasonings behind it being skeletons and the somewhat mechanics will become apparent as I introduce the actual intro to the game. But for now, I shall allow everyone to introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Lucy. Hi, I'm Troy. Hi, I'm Josh. Hi, I'm Hannibal. And I'm Sam, which most people should know because I run this channel. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would hope. If not, I've probably done a bad job. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, this will be the last game of the stream for this today. Uh, if we finish this earlier than our intended sort of two-hour mark, then we might chat for a little bit, but we will essentially sort of end the stream kind of early. Uh, due to a lack of staff, and that being no staff, <laughs> um, I will be monitoring donations from my end over here. So if you do donate and you want something to happen through the bonus system, flick it through chat. We can see chat. We can laugh at chat. We can argue with chat. It's... We can chat to chat. We can chat to chat. It's what? It... <laughs> it's more standard than new technology. <laughs> So, yeah, so if, you're, if I'm not paying attention to a donation and you want it to be paid attention to, throw it up there because I I am chat as well, so, yeah. All right, then. On with the game. Woo. Okay, so to begin with, you guys have flashes of cognitive moments where you're in a variety of locations where for a brief, almost like dreams, where you're standing in a room with a bunch of other skeletons and then you're in a random town somewhere walking with uh, some strangers in some of the areas. And these sort of flashes of like this journey sort of for you just happens and then you're on a boat and then you're, you're landing on some port somewhere and then you're marching through some island. And then as you carry on through this island, you end up at this strange looking castle and then it sort of flashes through and then suddenly there's water. And then you all somewhat simultaneously have, at this point, gained a sense of your surroundings as you're essentially being washed on shore of a beach. How put together am I? <laughs> you're, you're all put together. Like, you all... <laughs> I'm kind of an infancy. <laughs> The four of you as skeletons, as beings, have washed ashore while still connected as humanoids, <laughs> as much as a skeleton is a humanoid. It's, yeah, I guess I, I look around, take in my surroundings. Cool. Uh, roll me a perception. Is my head in the sand, or can oh, I see? No. Roll perception, find out. Okay. My head is in the sand, mm. I cannot see. <laughs> Okay, you know, I've got to see what I've got a nine. I got a five. I look up and my eyes are full of solid damage. Do you guys have some spare dice? Oh, Hannibal, we'll give you a break. I'm bringing any dice. I came in bang before, but yeah, there you go. Dice. A million dice. It's deep 30. So we've got one in, the, one in the sand. Oh, I got a five, so probably also in the sand. Probably all, you're both face down in the sand. Okay, so you've become aware of your sentience, but there's still darkness. Mm -hmm. Nine. So, you know. You're, you're like half in the sand, so one eye is out, and even though you don't have eyeballs, you can see, but you're also aware there's now sand coming into your other skull. Oh, great. Great, bro. I got seven. <laughs> also, half, but lying the other way. Very <laughs> old. Gonna say a lot about how this is gonna go. <laughs> Very exciting. You can all hear sort of the sounds of the beach that's just sort of crashing behind you and sort of sea oh, no. noises. Take my arm off. So it's like grab my hand and go and look around. No. Um, mechanically, you can't pull your head. <laughs> that would be by ripping your rope. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but you could pull your head out of the sand. Okay, I'll do that. There, pull my head out. <laughs> you expect it to go off, you're like, oh, oh, yeah, no. Yeah, that might kill me. Yeah. <laughs> um, means I have to roll again. Yeah, roll, roll again and out after this end. 17 plus what the perception is. 21. All right, cool. So you sort of pull yourself out of the sand and sort of start sort of looking around the area and you immediately notice there is a couple of skeletons to your left and then there's another skeleton to your right. One of them looks like they're half in the sand, one's the other one. Another one looks like she's almost dead in the sand. I get a fright because I am a skeleton. You're almost dead in the sand. It's, it's, very, it's somewhat sort of calming to see another skeleton. And even though you don't know how long you've been a skeleton, this is somewhat more. Uh, you sort of 
pan around your area, you notice that heading sort of more towards the south direction of the beach that you're sitting in, not that you know which way is north and south. <laughs> Um, a direction. A direction that's probably yep. south compass. <laughs> uh, you can notice there is quite some jagged rocks and sort of like a badly looking beach for landing sort of boats and things. And there looks like there's probably a broken sort of tower or something that's down that end. And you sort of pan around and the other end of the beach seems to be a lot clearer and it seems to sort of keep going up to the north. And behind you seems to be quite a heavy bush, sort of like forest behind you. All right. Uh, I'm going to get myself out of the sand and clickety clack over the other skeleton and start picking them up. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's so cool. <laughs> so long, but I'm so bright. <laughs> Literally, I had <laughs> What are you guys going to do? I mean, yes, now that I can see, yeah. I guess I should also just quickly roll a perception, see if I notice anything. No, I'm probably not, but that's a 12 plus 3. It's a good thing. Thing. You kind of look around, you can see the jagged rocks, you can see the bush behind you, you can see it's sort of an ocean going that way, and you can see three other skeletons around you, and you can see it's kind of the beach keeps going that way. I mean, do we just want to carry on? Do we just go for a longer? Onwards! Yeah? <laughs> In which direction? I just you're over my shoulder not knowing what's behind me. Yeah. I, I feel like it's just on purpose. J jagged rocks, more beach. Which, who are they? Well, we've seen the beach. Yeah. I'll, I'll point this out to you now that you will be talking to each other. When you've been going to speak like you normally would speak, mm. your mouths, although you can hear the clacking of your teeth going to each other, you realize that the conversation you're having seems to be happening more telepathically with each other. And you're not actually talking to each other. Mm, so you're just making clapping like Your jaws are making clip noises. <laughs> so clearly you can only communicate with each other. That's cool. <laughs> so ridiculous. I have no voice box. <laughs> no, not, but I'm not dramatically kneel on the ground. No. I'm realizing we're speaking telepathically. The urge to wink at someone is there, but I can't do it. <laughs> telepathic <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can't fix that now. No. I mean, yeah, should we, should we just carry on up the beach? Up the beach? Up to the jagged rocks? Up to the clear? Uh, let's go to the rocks. I mean, yeah. yeah. What could gone. possibly go wrong? Well, there was, yeah. Yeah. What could possibly go wrong? Or what could possibly go right? We should We're be already skeletons. <laughs> yeah, doesn't get worse from here. <laughs> All right, so you guys start heading towards these jagged rocks. Mm -hmm. uh, you basically, as the beach sort of stops becoming sand, becomes more sort of a difficult terrain. You guys are sort of <laughs> sort of balancing around. Yeah. Walking. <laughs> you, you you notice that the rocks, while moving through them, are all quite rocky. Some of them. <laughs> um, some of them seem to be more man-made pieces of like what would probably be considered cement and things. Almost like something has been broken down here, and a lot of these rocks are both natural and man-made. Hmm. Hmm. You said there was a tower, right? There was, and there's the remnants of a tower. So I'm going to walk directly to the tower. All right. So you wander up to this sort of alcove of some sort of tower of sorts, which looks like it probably goes up about five feet. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start just the chain on the door. <laughs> the door kind of just kind of... She's <laughs> just banging on the door and it just sort of opens up to you. How, how tall are you? Five, six. But you can probably see over the top of it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it's popping up. <laughs> then it opens. Don't even bother looking. 7, uh, 21, what do I see? So you walk in and you immediately see what looks like probably the ground floor of a lighthouse, but with no furniture and pretty much only one fourth of a wall. A fourth wall? I, I... <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, the camera's too high. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so there's nothing in here. Tragic. No, no dead bodies, no people. No, no mm. staircase up to another floor or anything. No, no. lights. Wait, the top is there a broken room. staircase? There's like a step that probably could have been the staircase. Oh, I'm gonna walk up it and then. <laughs> <laughs> you must explore absolutely everything. I'm um, leaving no stone or stair unturned. <laughs> who's trained in Arcana? Me. Oh yes, Sam. 
Can I get those trained in Arcana? Give me an Arcana roll. Oh no. I rolled a one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. Yeah. Um. Resilience intelligence. It's like nine. Okay. Um, you get this. You you get this weird kind of feeling coming through your head, like something's calling you. You're not quite sure where it's coming from. Almost like it's a a return to me kind of call, but you can't comprehend where it's come from. You just get a weird buzzing in your head. Mm. Oh, I'm filled with bees. <laughs> what a bee! That's all I know. Well, bees are oh, because we just did wash up in the. <laughs> <laughs> they check very quickly to my I, I, I think we should check the floor. Check the floor, yes. People often hide things in the floor. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll have a look at it. I'm gonna scratch at the floor. <laughs> I like your investigations and <laughs> I'm trying to rip off. I don't know. Is it, is it wooden panels? I'm going to give you an investigation. I'm trying to rip up panels if there are any. Okay. Uh, twelve. And I got seventeen. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, thanks, guys. And I wish. Nineteen. Ooh. Did you try? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> no. Nice. I was standing on the stairs and you see something. Like, oh, <laughs> so. We've got skeletal wood. It's the, I'm trying to pull up. We're not pulling up woods. And what was your skeleton's name? Uh, I am Ms. Tui Mero. Ms. Tui Mero. <laughs> so, so Tui Mero and Skeletor are sort of at the same spot. And Skeletor just ripping up panels and things. And Tui's just kind of watching each piece go past and examining things. And one of the pieces goes past with a piece of what looks like fabric attached to it. I grab it. As it goes a bit past. Yeah. And it reveals sort of this lower map. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. let's find more. Yeah, it, 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 it looks like a lot of like the, the piece you've got is like the remaining piece of something that has been completely destroyed out. Okay. And I don't know if this is where we are. I don't know if this is a fancy map. Well, this could just be from a book. Yeah, <laughs> it could even not be a map. I'm still digging. I'm only paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> um, roll me a history. That's 12 plus 2, so 14. Cool. Um, you have seen, a, you don't know where, but you've seen a version of this map before. Mm. And usually this map would indicate that there was a lighthouse at the lower end of this area. So you've potentially seen... I think I might know where we are. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Really? Yeah. Well, a lighthouse. The remains. Uh, oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, the remains. This is the lighthouse. <laughs> okay. So what you're telling us is what we already know. We're in yeah. the lighthouse. And, and this picture here. You have a picture? It. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and we're right here on the map. This is where we are. Are I... you sure? Oh, I... <laughs> the likeliness that I'm wrong is up there. Astounding. Yeah. <laughs> We can always join Skeletor and keep DJ narrow. <laughs> I'm like, uh, knee height down. <laughs> so here, here's your map. Yeah, your height. Huh? I don't have any muscles. Just don't flip it over. Show me. Ooh. The camera can see. Map. <laughs> so. So, so, so we, we are around here. This is where the lighthouse is and was so we're probably around here i mean those look, uh, look like road-esque things if we carry on up but there's no key we don't know how far so what about inches we could be miles from the road that's true i can't do with all the time in the world <laughs> so what are you guys doing we're gonna start wandering inland i guess Just 
straight. <laughs> Let's go. I see no issues with just going straight. We can stay on the coast. Yeah. We'll stay on the coast at least a little bit, just so we have like a self rough idea that we're still going in the right way and don't get caught doing loops, because I imagine we would. <laughs> so, going off, so, so can we stay on the left coast, or do yeah. we want to hit it? Okay. Start the left coast. Okay. So you guys basically turn back and go back to where you were shot. Yeah. That's cool. Okay. Um, can I get perceptions from you guys as you're essentially walking up this beach? Yes. Non three. I got a 17. 17. 17? <laughs> so, the three of you are walking up, like, well, the four of you are all walking together, and the three of you all sort of notice, oh, there's some sort of structure up there. Skeletor looks in the same direction and goes, oh, people. <laughs> Flesh. Stop <laughs> 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 <Start> sprinting. Not a bit chaotic It's not my intention. I just want to be a bard. <laughs> Are you sprinting well, Clay? <laughs> Yeah. So, so for context, um, I'm my name is Keys McGee, and I'm, I'm a bard, and um, I play my ribs like a xylophone, or as I am such as a xylophone. Just <laughs> fitting, considering all you are is just bones. Yeah. yeah. What are you playing it with? We think um, it's a bit nothing else. Oh uh, yeah, I, I, I just cut along with like a harp. <laughs> I did also consider for a minute that I could like play my ribs like a keyboard, but also breathe in like some sort of way so I'd feel like a melodic. <laughs> okay. I have a lot of options. <laughs> I'm really a one man band. Um, or a one, one man drummer. Yeah. Uh, oh, what's something threatening I can play while we go? Um... <laughs> I have, um... I, I, so I, uh, how many of you are charging at the flesh? <laughs> you know what? Skeleton sees you charging and starts charging as well. Leave behind. I'm too short to charge. Charge. <laughs> <laughs> charge. No. I mean, I'm heading the same direction, but yeah. I'm playing my own flesh. I'm playing chariots of fire. <laughs> Oh, what's my D20? <laughs> oh, as much as you can play a Cindy song on a like Yeah, I'm just gonna see what he tells us. I don't know where my D20 went. Do you want you back? My, my skull is loose and it's just swiveling as I run. <laughs> That's allowed mechanically. Um, you sure? I'm not a slap. It's not coming on, so I'm okay with that. Wow, that's 10 minutes of the brain. We're like at the mission of defeat. <laughs> Fine, your head can swivel. And so none of you are trying the stealth of each one, just charging in. Oh, yeah. Cool. I'm just strolling. <laughs> um, I'm playing a theme song. I'm playing infant music. <laughs> so you, got, you guys noticed as this woman seems to be doing, outside seems to be doing something, looks up at you, screams, turns, and just runs inside. The building. She's just outside doing your watching. How far away am I from the door? Uh, you guys are about 60, 60 to 70 feet away from the door. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> when we get to the door, I very politely knock. <laughs> Wrong with your perception? <laughs> uh, eight. Okay, uh, yes, you just walk up and tuck, 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 tuck on the door. <laughs> <laughs> I arrive and my head slowly rests on my neck. I'm gonna walk up and slowly scratch the door. <laughs> and then listen. <laughs> Perception? <laughs> Not there as well. Nine? I guess terrorizing this town wasn't what you had in mind. Oh no, I'm totally awesome. <laughs> yeah, so that was a seven. Cool. Um, so the three of you are making different noises on this door. All you can hear is each other at the moment. Mm. Oh. That's fair enough. <laughs> um, what's the structure of the, the building like? Uh, it looks like it's sort of a, a wooden hut that is sort of quite well built and well looked after. Any windows? Uh, give me another perception. <laughs> 
I love the way it's changed. I don't even want to look at the house. You don't want to look at the house. It's green as I saw. Hide the windows to the soul. You're the only windows I need to know about. I'm just turning a long way and looking at I don't want to talk to these people. <laughs> they shut their doors on me. Oh, buddy. I'm now trying to find out a plan to break in. <laughs> what are you guys doing? I'm going to use false appearance and hide as a pile of bones. So I'm just going to <laughs> down to a pile of bones uh, in front of the door. <laughs> I'm going to open the door. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, I'm assumed you've arrived. Yeah, you've arrived. I'm going to stand in the, in the, the, the my house, my hand on the house, going. <laughs> <laughs> Considering you're a creature that doesn't breathe, this is not that much for me. Yeah. Uh, we found the drama queen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just don't forget I'm at. So you, you attempt to. Open yeah. it. So you go to try and pull the door, and it feels like it's banging into something. Oh. And as you're doing this, you hear, Mommy, what do we do? No, no, stay back. Coming from inside. It's fine, we're just there. Do I hear that? <laughs> you... Oh no, you're right. <laughs> the only class I can't tell what it's fine. See the, the, yeah, I heard that. Yeah, you, you hear that. I get excited. I hear voices. I run back. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Near the door. <laughs> um, can I? Oh, <laughs> as I start pushing all my might into the door. Oh, God. <laughs> well, from me in. <laughs> 15 athletics, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, 22. Cool. So you just lean into this door and just start pushing. And eventually something sounds like it crashes. And the door just swings open. And give me a deck save. <laughs> Stephen, <laughs> and you trip up on a pile of bones at your feet and just crash down the floor. And this door just kind of swings open, and there is this massive crash noise. And um, our bone bard can see straight inside. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, I, I think we got the bone bard's name. Uh, Keys. <laughs> Keys. Keys McGee. Um, can I cast message to talk to them? And not have magic. I, yeah, bar magic. <laughs> Can I cast mist to talk to them and not a skeletal clatter? Yep, so you're casting message yeah. at the parent. At the, the, the parent? Yeah. Cool, so you just send the message spell at her. Hi, we're not that um, vicious. <laughs> Only a little vicious. <laughs> Hi, we're not that vicious. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we got we got excited that we saw people. <laughs> the only thing you get back is just this. Ah! <laughs> I expected as such. And this woman seems to have now closed the door behind her and is now standing there with a pitchfork. And I need you to roll. Is she this. in or outside? She's now? standing inside a new room, so she's in a oh. room and she's closed the kid into another room. Yeah. So I need you guys to roll on this. <laughs> Is that all of us? You're a pile of bones, but you stole an initiative. <laughs> well, what do you plus for initiative again? It's a uh, dex. Dex? Okay. Five. Five? I'm on the ground, so. <laughs> yeah, I got a six. <laughs> you are a pile of bones. <laughs> so, hey, um, your character's name? Wilbur. Wilbur. <laughs> Obviously. Wilbur, and then. Um, I'm Tui Mero. Tui. And then. Uh, we both, we both, both got five. Uh, what, what, whose dex is higher? 13. Uh, 12. Hey, then keys. <laughs> keys, and then scales more. <laughs> First goes the woman. Who runs up to Keys and attacks? Oh, she's brave. She yeah. runs up and runs up and sort of attacks you mm. with a would... seventeen. Yeah. <laughs> with four damage, as this pitchfork just stabs at you. <laughs> Wilbur. Yes. 
outside hearing this commotion. Well, very, very carefully, because this sounds bad. Mm. There's, a, there's a lot of things are going on. So I'm going to very carefully go peep around the door and see what's going on. Okay, yeah, so you can peep around the door and you see keys getting stabbed. <laughs> Great. Get it, get it. No. Stop it. That's not how you do things. So. <laughs> that is your, I'm going to go with yep. action. Yep. <laughs> Roll me intimidation. Yep. Intimidation? Well, you can't persuade in this situation. <laughs> Okay. Ooh. Roll 17, and I've got a five, so 22. Yeah, 22. Okay, right, cool. Uh, she looks at you, and you see her face just go completely white. Yes. Do we? Pile of bones. Yeah, 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 definitely a pile of bones. <laughs> No, I won't do that. Okay, I, I just want to roll for nature and see, like, if I can tell anything about uh, or inside. You know, is this woman okay? Roll <laughs> with inside then. Oh, that's a four as well. Four plus eight, the twelve. Okay, she's not okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. She's very distressed yeah. and seems to be in more of a case of a uh, fight or flight situation and almost like she isn't thinking this through and seems to be more concerned with so her she, kid. She seems like she's being attacked. I'm now starting to fear that we're going to get attacked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I end my turn. <laughs> e. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be like, hey, like, we let's just stop this and using message on her again being like hey it's it's fine we don't have to fight or anything like and i kind of look almost surrenderishly like it's we're fine <laughs> um roll me a persuasion and disadvantage okay <laughs> oh no <laughs> persuasion nine <laughs> okay that's, I rolled a two, so I'm not that disappointed. The the, the, the colour in her face seems to have not quite come back. Mm. You don't get a message back. Mm. <laughs> it's rude. rude. <laughs> yeah. I, I, like, I stand up and slap your head in the face. I'm the closest one. I'm trying to intimidate. <laughs> No, I'm trying to intimidate the woman. So you're intimidating the woman by smack. Uh, are you trying to hurt? Or no, no, I'm just slapping it. You're rolling in intimidation again. Uh, what's my intimidation? Stick. So 15. <laughs> this woman just looks at the situation, and now it's her turn, drops the fork, <laughs> turns around, and runs through the door she just closed, and opens it, and then goes through it and slams it closed. <laughs> well, I'm busy. <laughs> Guess my job here is done. <laughs> what would you me to do? <laughs> Feed the flesh bags. <laughs> what is their natural habitat? <laughs> you definitely want me to have an Adambra. And they got character on them. For intents and purposes, uh, combat has ended. Um, Does that mean the house is ours? <laughs> it's <laughs> in the house. I'm going to walk up and I'm going to block the door with a chair. I think that'll be handy as I um, I put myself back together. Yep. And just kind of grow back up into a skeleton and start ransacking the room that we're in inside of the house. Like, I want to check if there's anything worth taking okay. because I am a criminal. Roll an investigation. <laughs> I'm going to start cooking. <laughs> I'm flacking around. I will point out that the room you're in is more like a lounge than oh. anything else. There is no kitchen. So that, was that investigation? Yes. Yeah, that's a seven. <laughs> Cool. So you guys watch as Tilly wanders over to one side of the room and just starts opening drawers. 
<laughs> just rummaging through drawers and finding shirts and things and just I make myself at home. I just chill. <laughs> I make shirts. Are there any hats? <laughs> Investigate. I will. <clears throat> oh. Got an 18 plus 5. Yeah, you look what? around. You, you you have a look around and sort of the pile of clothes that seem to be throwing out right, from Tui just sort of rummaging through looking for some what Tui thinks is useful and you probably would find a little more useful as a couple of different kinds of sort of hunting looking hats come out, sort of designed to sort of tie up around or they can sit loosely out. Hmm. I was hoping hoping for something with more flowers. I should take a hunting hat, place it upon my my fine shiny bones. <laughs> I look around to see if there's anything um, interesting or stand out. Just looking around, so uh, yeah. perception. Oh no, eight. <laughs> no, there's right. a skeleton wearing a hunting hat, a skeleton wearing a shirt, and a skeleton <laughs> making a mess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to walk back to the door and start knocking it. <laughs> get some responses from them. Can I get my two arcane people to roll again? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. 17. Uh, I got that. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, 22. Okay, so both of you sort of, now that it seems to have died down again, the sort of anxiety of a fight is just, it's a train. The train, this power hits you and you both feel this pull of the necromancer that you recognize as the one that raised you. And you realize... Ah. He's on this island or somewhere <laughs> close nearby, and it feels like he's trying to call you back. Do we know roughly in which direction? You can tell that it's coming from sort of the northeast sort of side, so sort of basically in this direction. Let's start heading that way. Yes. Let's go. What's going on? At some point, when I realize you haven't come with, I come back and. I'll follow. We feel the pull. <laughs> um, as you guys walk out, can you bag? Can, can you roll me uh, perceptions as you guys just walk outside? Twelve. Fifteen. 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 <laughs> cool. Um, so those above fifteen, as you guys walk out, so they can start heading in this direction you notice sort of stand just maybe about 10 20 feet away from the house and the ground looks like it's some sort of javelin javelin we could have a sport of it Who? <laughs> no <laughs> nearly but not quite i don't know what that means <laughs> <laughs> It won't get digested. No, yeah. it'll just fall out. Yeah. Yeah, but not quite. Oh, but I have a shirt on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Try it at the bottom. So. Yeah. <laughs> so, shall we bring this javelin and carry on with the javelin? Yeah. yeah. The, the piece of map I have, <laughs> I've either tucked it into like my pelvic bone or inside my skull. I'm, I'm not sure which. I've got a great idea. Let's put that map on like the end of the javelin and we'll have a flag to carry. <laughs> Not me. I have 10. I have 12. What, was that intelligent? Yeah. Oh, I have 15. You're trying to run that out of the javelin. Yeah. That's our intelligent idea. I guess you were afraid of him, so. Oh, that was so classy now that we have a flag. A hat, a shirt, a flag. Well, you need who's, you. Who's, who's using this javelin? Do you want to carry the flag or shall I? I don't. I, I'll, I'll carry it. And then I'll play the skeleton with one okay. hand. Like, <laughs> like, I'm using the, my band to play like one handed xylophone. I'm playing, a, I'm playing a very dramatic march. Okay. <laughs> and you were just walk, and you as a group were just walking towards the feeling? Mm. Yes. Cool. We just go get laid. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. 
So it's being led by you two, mm -hmm. because you're the ones who have actually got the feeling and you just walk inland. Um, can I get perceptions after about five minutes of walking? Thirteen. Not match one, because my perception is minus one. Match <laughs> <laughs> twenty plus three. Oh my god. So uh, you guys are going through sort of this bit of brush and stuff and sort of get a head down, and you just take this moment of just stopping and going, hmm. It's odd that the woman vanished somewhere, and you listen for the moment, and you can hear almost perfectly the sound of someone rushing through a bush, and you sort of turn your head, and you can see bits of bush sort of moving in a direction, and it sounds like something's frantically going one way, and then you hear the briefest sound of a conversation being said in that direction. You have some good ears that you don't actually have. <laughs> Almost like it's a help me with skeletons. I mean, towards or further away from us. Um, it's it feels like so you guys are coming this way. It feels like it's coming from this way, and you guys are heading this way. So it's sort of parallel to you. I don't take any note of it. I just think like fair enough. You know, she seems scared. She couldn't crumble into a pile of bones on the floor <laughs> like I did. So I'd be worried if I could do that. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. It's the only thing that keeps me together. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then you carry on? Yeah. <laughs> Not stopping the other skeletons. You guys march for about half an hour, the better part of an hour. And eventually you come across a very well sort of dug and out man-made sort of cart road. As you basically end up here. And essentially you have two directions you can head in. We can't use it. We haven't got a car. Yeah, that's true. It is illegal. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of those skeleton yeah. crimes. <laughs> we can only travel by the boat from the side of the road. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just going to continue walking forward. I'm a criminal, so if it's a skeleton crime, I'm okay with it. Yeah. Get me on the car. We need to leave this. Uh, yeah, I mean, we have to. We have to. That's a I game take the flag and start leading the way down the car road. <laughs> well, where's the feeling leading up? Which way do you go? Because you don't have a feeling to work with. I'm heading down the wrong path. No, we, the, let's go this way. I said let's go down the right one, which is also the right one in both directions. Yeah, exactly. Down here. Walking forward. Where you do. It's not when I come back and grab you again. <laughs> Very steady. <laughs> Burnley, we had some rope we could tie up to this. <laughs> so after about 10 minutes of sort of going in different directions and regrouping, you all start heading right down this path. And after about 20 minutes of walking down this path, you come across a junction where it seems like one seems to head further inland and sort of goes in an incline, and the other one seems to go in a bit of a ding, ding, decline. Up or down, how are we feeling, team? High ground. <laughs> What is the pull called? Uh, okay. It feels like the pull is probably calling sort of bang smack in the middle of both roads. That's cool. I mean... We can't go in both directions at the same time. I mean, we can. We could split up, but that feels like a bad idea. <laughs> what? Probably go. That feels like a bad idea, which is why we should do it. <laughs> so these characters were certainly... <laughs> What's the plan? Let's go. It's splitting. I'm going up the hill. You're going up the hill? I mean, we, we should start because we're the two people that know where to go. We've got the feeling. Yeah. So... <laughs> <laughs> so, so Tony and I will go down and you guys can go up. Right. <laughs> what else? Oh. 20 minutes in and we've split the party. <laughs> yeah, about that. <laughs> Okay. So high I'll start with the party going up the hill. Right. Just, oh, dragons. <laughs> so you guys I mean, just walk. That's not intimidating. So you guys walk up the so it's you two walking up this path. No, 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 no. You two going into the path. And it takes you about sort of 20 minutes of walking along as it sort of starts going up and up the hill. Uh, can I get two perceptions from you guys? In 18. All right. Um, coming closer, you sort of, 
the path that it bends around seems to keep going up, and you start hearing the sounds of goblins. Goblins? I hear goblins. I don't know how to react to that. Neither do I. Really. You two are currently walking down a path south, suddenly hearing your heads, goblins, there are goblins, <laughs> as you're psychically linked. <laughs> We can talk over logic. It's like we've got walkie talkies. I don't see any goblins, do you? I don't see goblins. We can hear goblins. We can hear goblins. What are they goblins? We don't have stomachs. I'm jealous. (laughs) Can we hear how close these goblins are? From your eating, yeah, you can hear it sounds like they're a little further up the path. (laughs) Where are the goblins? So they're they're up ahead of you. If and we keep going this way, we're going to encounter goblins. I mean, we can look back and join you guys, but that doesn't sound like split the party follow. <laughs> no, just wait. Yeah. Who's did if that? we wait here, <laughs> right. if we wait here, and you go your way, and you tell us what's down there, then we have to come back, or you come to us. Perfect. Can we carry on? Yes. That's a great plan. That's a good way to split the party too. Right. So about. Ten minutes after this decision has been made, mm-hmm. which has been about half an hour since you left the, the, the split in the road, um, can I get perceptions from you two? Well, another, another not that one. <laughs> no, um, We're very distracted by the voices. There's, there's, there's every now and then saying, should we go check the goblins down? Should we check the goblins down? You, you guys aren't that focused. Do goblins eat us? I don't know. Do they, 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 don't they, don't eat they could eat us. <laughs> Um, what if they're skeleton goblins? <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. They're skeletons. As, as the thoughts are going through, you guys sort of <laughs> still hear around a corner and you're not physically greeted, but you're greeted with the sight of what looks like a town with uh, quite a lot of people moving about. We found a town. Ooh, is it a goblin town? Uh, <laughs> they are people. They are people. <laughs> Thousands of people too. <laughs> I um, mean, yeah. The last people we encountered didn't seem very happy. The last people we encountered, and I fall into a pile of bones. <laughs> <laughs> we to roll something. Did, did you do anything to hit? What do you mean? Like, what's going on? I have no reaction to you becoming clones. I'm so used to it. I'm just waiting for the response. Like he's about to say something, but he's just done that. <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> After a moment of pause, I was like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll translate. He's pile of bones now. We're there, all there, bones. Oh, there are pile now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do we want to do a goblin the town. How are we feeling? Not the town. Not the town. Should we come I, fight I, some goblins? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we and we get back to it. Can I get perceptions from you two just before you leave on your journey? Guys, that is so much better that time. You got a two? Yeah. <laughs> I got a nineteen. Whoa. Okay. Um, as you guys sort of start going off, you faintly hear the sound of someone saying, They were up the road from behind you. They, they might be on to us. We should probably... Why do you think that? Who's on us? Huh? <laughs> I, I just heard a voice from the town saying they were up the road. So they made it to the town as well. Yeah. <laughs> I, I could have just said that. You could have just said that. Yeah. Yeah. Me. But you didn't say that. We should, we should move. I didn't hear it. We never heard what you said. Ah, good point. We, we should move quicker just in case. And we and we start We get all cracker all. lack <laughs> So you guys run. Yeah. Oh. Are you going to play a jaunty tune while you run? Oh yeah. Um, can I play the Sonic theme. <laughs> yep. <laughs> as much as the xylophone bone. Take the city. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, can you guys just roll me stealths? <laughs> I know you're not physically stealthing, but... Not Matt 20. I'm back. <laughs> I'm doing stuff now. Uh, 12. Okay. <laughs> I love the, the diagram. Thank you. 
It's way better than what my character description is because it's just got my name and then I've got eyes, skin, and hair that's all crossed out. That's all I've got. Okay, um, another 40 minutes goes by and uh, eventually you guys get to the, split the road and come up and <laughs> are re greeted by these two of me sitting at the bottom of this hill. I'm bothering squatting on. <laughs> I'm trying to blend in. <laughs> it works. It works. It didn't really help. <laughs> oh, I've tried it out then. <laughs> Without even waiting for a response. Yeah, fair enough. I'll roll myself. Yeah, uh, what's my stealth? Eleven. Okay, right, so you're not that quiet. No. Okay. Um, so basically you walk up this path to you're following which you now know where the goblin sounds are, because I'm assuming after this hour they still told you where they are, you've listened. Just up there. Okay. <laughs> He's trying to teach me how they sound, but obviously it's just clackety clack. <laughs> I think I'm making them sound, but it's just very um, You you start heading up the, the path where you've heard the, the, where these goblin sounds have come from, and the sounds that you're now hearing seem to come a little bit further above the path as the path seems to curve round to a sort of a viewing sort of area that seems to oversee the island. And as you're sort of walking around, sort of trying to be a goblin or walk around this path, you notice there's a human who seems to be sitting out on the edge of this platform, sort of like looking out, like he's looking for something. And the sound of goblins is coming from above you. Surely this is deception. Oh. <laughs> 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 it's a trap. It's a person. I'm saying this out loud. <laughs> oh, I thought you said it was goblins. Uh, I thought there was goblins as well. But <laughs> the, 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 you, can't, wrong. Sure. you can't hear the goblins above you. Okay. <laughs> there are goblins. Oh my goodness, there's so many things. What languages can you guys speak? I don't know anyone who's uh, put down a goblin. I, no, I, no, I, I think it's like just a skeleton. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think it gives you a bonus based off of being risen by someone. So. Yeah. Should have taken another language. But yeah. Like no, that's cool. I just wanted to check, just in case I did something that had them. But I can understand. <laughs> thieves can't. Does that can help? It doesn't. I don't think goblins no. talk. Thieves can't. <laughs> that's fine. Yes. <laughs> what do I do? He's just standing there. And I look at him. On my perception, 13. Has he noticed you? No. <laughs> no, he hasn't noticed you. He also looks well armed. He has two arms. Oh, he's got <laughs> Wait, we all have two and, arms. And we're jealous. Two arms. He's got weapons as well. Uh, he's got javelins. Let's oh, get over there. Can we just <laughs> chuck it through his neck? Hey, but I want to take the map off if we're going to do that. Okay. We take the map off, carefully fold it away. <laughs> Somewhere. Somewhere. Can you put this under your hat? I can. Thank you. Chuck it under my hat. <laughs> uh, who wants to launch this goblin? I don't. I'm not. What about the goblins? Do you want the goblins to throw their hair? Oh. Maybe. It depends on how the word name is. Yeah. But if he just sort of goes, ah, that was a like, then they're going to hear. Yeah. I mean, I don't think we've got a lot of control over that. I, I could see if I could play something louder to cover the noise. <laughs> that. Yeah, but that's the only that like I'm going to crack up a rock and I'll chuck it in the direction of the goblins. Very good. They're going to kill each other. Okay. Roll initiatives. <laughs> 14. Uh, oh, I got a 9. 3. three. <laughs> what was it, Dex? Yeah, so 14. Was it Dex? Yeah. Yeah, so 3. And then I got 18. Can at least do the first throw? You got 18. <laughs> um, and then, Tui, what did you get? Uh, I got a nine. Nine. <laughs> nine. Start shenanigans. Get the lowest initiative. Yeah. The three came. <laughs> and then keys and then skeletal. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what about your rock next? Right. <sighs> As you hear the sound of this rock startling these goblins that sound like they're engaging now. <laughs> I don't know where it's come from. <laughs> no, it's almost like you've triggered something. 
Let's turn into a pile of them. <laughs> what are we stealth at advantage? <laughs> Oh, nice. Cool. Okay. Uh, well, it turns into a pile of loans. Uh, you hear the sound of this rustling of just goblins standing like they're engaging, and this this guy standing at this like end of this jetty area that's overlooking everything sort of turns back and goes, "Oh." Uh, Tilly, it's your turn. Uh, well, was he doing it to uh, me or was he doing it to the goblins? <laughs> you just see him turn back and look in your kind of general direction and go, ah. Oh. <laughs> I can't suggest everyone else turn to bones. <laughs> Even though he's seen you, he might think <laughs> Don't see me, you go <laughs> down the path. Oh, that, that's true. Oh, okay, we just slide down the path. And that's why I got you to give me a stealth to see who was going to notice it. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I'm I'm going to fall into a pile of bones. <laughs> Third time's the charm. Right, cool. Um Skeletal, you who can actually physically see this see four goblins jumping off this ledge above you, landing on the ground, and all four of them just run in the sky. Before before they run, can I actually do a reactionary thing? Just go like that. <laughs> I'll let you do that. Please. Uh, you, uh, you, you notice Skeletor just go. <laughs> Everything he's doing, you can see. Oh, cool. uh, how close are the goblins to each other? Uh, they seem to be running sort of like right next to each other as a group running. So I'm going to within a 10 foot radius sphere. Uh, depending which one you started with, because they're at 5 foot each. Uh, can, I, can I do it in such a way to get. Uh, three or four of them? You could get three of them if you were doing something in a 10 uh, radius sphere. Cool, I'm going to get three of them and use shatter. Um, <laughs> each creature must make a constitution saving throw. My no. plan! <laughs> you give me instead. Two thirteen and a 14. Uh, uh, all of them fail, hooray. All right. Uh, and they take 3d8 uh, thunder damage. Thunder. Um, not fair for this one. <laughs> I'm good at counting. Well, let's see. Nice. 15. Each? Yes. Skeletal, you watch as this loud noise goes off, and three goblins in mid run just kind of go <laughs> full down, and the fourth one is still mid run. <laughs> and yep. Skeletal thumbs up. It's your turn. <laughs> I recharge with the goblin getting up. <laughs> so he's about he's basically two full run actions away, so you can get there in full movement, but yep. you can't do anything else once you're there. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, I'll, 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 I'll have to stand up again. Re re <laughs> You're going reform yourself as an action? Yeah. Uh, cool. The, do much the, the, this, guy, this guy turns to see what looks like four goblins uns, that have now stopped running at him, and one goblin and one skeleton seem to be charging at him. And... Uh, or even. Even. He is going to attack you. <laughs> <laughs> you so <saw> happy! <laughs> uh, does a 15 hit you? Yes. <laughs> you take 8 damage as this guy pulls out the sword and just goes slice at you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so surprised! <laughs> I put myself back together. <laughs> you guys have movement as well, don't you? Yeah, I'm going to start heading that way. I'll, I'll, you know what? I can dash, so I'll move 60 feet ahead. Cool. So you're about, because you were a little bit behind yeah. him, so you're about 10 feet away from 
them from him. Can I did, nope. did putting myself together? It's, a, my it's an action to reassemble yourself. So you're going to now two skeletons standing there waiting. <laughs> As the goblin notices the skeletons and makes a swipe at this guy. Um, and it is now Key's turn. Um, I'm gonna cast Vicious Mockery if I can find the spell. <laughs> and I'm gonna make fun of the goblin. If you try me, you don't like funny. <laughs> um, uh, ooh, what, what mean things can I say to a goblin? Um, well, <laughs> I'm gonna call the goblin short. <laughs> and that's, that's a <laughs> wisdom saving throw. So what you think is short, the goblin just hears it as <laughs> because you don't have a voice box. <laughs> <laughs> the goblin is saying short. <laughs> Um, wisdom saving throw? Yes, please. Teeny tiny, not tall man. <laughs> uh, work. 19. Uh, yeah, it's even if they can't understand me. Uh, 19 passes. <laughs> I don't know what you said. Does anything happen to him? Or? No. no. Okay. I, but I know in my heart I said something. Scales all your up. <laughs> As this goblin's ear just kind of goes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just. More at the guy's face. You just gonna attack him. Okay, roll that. Oh, um, nineteen. Yep, that worked. Oh. Pull his face off. <laughs> what was it? One d eight. Two. Yeah. Um, for you, yeah, you're not wielding anything, are you? So yeah, it's one d eight. Oh. How'd you go? That's a ten. Is it? Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's a little bit better. Eight. Eight. Plus strength. That was the plus strength. That was plus strength. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh I heard that twice. Can't I? You can do that twice, yeah. Oh, yeah. 19. Ooh. That'll hit. That also crits. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah. Seven. So crit is. Double, you double. double, just roll the dice again. Okay. Eight. <laughs> so eight, eight and seven. Oh, so no, this was a one. That was a one. Oh, so it's eight. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, hold on. I just need to make sure I've mathed this guy's health correctly because I think you just killed him. <laughs> what? Can I kill him? I didn't realize. Flesh, beetle. <laughs> I killed him all the flesh. <laughs> no, no, he's standing there. He's still alive. <laughs> he's still alive. He's still alive. He doesn't look good. He looks like a skeleton just slapped him in the face. <laughs> How far away is he? Uh, from the starting point where you guys are running from, he's about 60 feet away. Oh, okay. So the goblins didn't charge at me. That means they don't want to attack me, so I attack the thing they're charging at. I don't think the goblin had a turn, did it? No. <laughs> he didn't kill him. No, he had he had a turn. He had he attempted to attack him. Ah. Alright, well I'm going to have to rush up, but I'm not going to make it because sixty feet's too far. Well, uh you're rogue, so you've got cunning, so you can use a bonus action so you can run up. Oh, okay, so I can reach him. You can reach him, yep. Alright. I shall engage, but there's not much else I can do. You that... can you can attack him. Can I? Yeah. Oh, okay. So move, 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 movement is thirty. Bonus action for cutting it is another thirty. It's up there in the sixty. Right. Okay. I shall attack him with my 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 fingers. So many fingers. Oh. Ah. <laughs> uh, five. <laughs> You know the watch as Wilbur runs up and just goes <laughs> It almost looks like he thought he had a knife in his head and just kind of swings past. <laughs> uh, this guy turns to Skeletor. <laughs> he makes another... Uh, he pulls out some dagger and goes to try and stab you with it and you just kind of move slightly to the left and it just sort of swings past you. Tilly. Did he roll in that one? No. 
He rolled up two. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to. Well, I'm going to throw my javelin. I should have said it before I rolled. So, <laughs> but I'm going to throw the javelin at the goblin. Except I rolled a two. Oh. Yeah, it didn't. It's definitely not the goblin. Yeah, so that's a four. It's a four? Cool. So you go, <laughs> can I please have a, this be considered strength or con? I'm going to go strength. Give me a strength save. <laughs> With a net one plus one. Cool. Uh, you go, you watch the javelin go flying. You guys in this sort of mid couple as this javelin goes past. You realize it wasn't just a javelin. It was a javelin and an arm. <laughs> oh, oh no. Yeah, that, that's okay. Mad, that they took your weapon off you. You got this arm. <laughs> <laughs> you have bonus action in movement. <laughs> oh, good. Could use an action to sort. No, that's an action. Hmm. You also need the limb for a limb. Yeah, you know. it on. <laughs> Went off the edge. I hide. <laughs> 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 is that hiding is a stealth or hiding is a bones? Uh, I suppose the bones is an action, so yeah. Yeah, well, my uh, uh, stunning action to hide is a bonus because I'm a rogue. So if that's add bones or hiding behind something, I don't mind. Roll me stealth. That's 10. Cool. Uh, the goblin makes another swing at the guy and then looks up at Skeletor and then looks behind and sees there's more skeletons and turns and makes a run for it. Anyone who's nearby the goblin gets an attack of opportunity if they want. Which I'm, I believe I'm not nearby. it's only you two. I mean, I'm there, but I'm bones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna slap him across the face. <laughs> Roll the attack. I miss. Oh, 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 oh. You guys pick up like five of each other. Cool, that'll hit. Hey, what is your strength for? Uh, strength one. You do one damage. Oh, as I'm high fighting, he does one damage. <laughs> <laughs> and this, as this goblin just takes off, cuff him around the ear as he runs by. Uh, keys. <laughs> Heavy would we say a loose arm was? <laughs> like five kgs, maybe. That'll that that's I think uh, light enough where I can uh I'll run like towards the arm, use mage hand to like bring it back to me, so you can so I can try and get your your oh, arm yeah, back to, to the you. javelin that went off the cliff. So you're gonna oh, went off the cliff. Yeah, went on the edge of the cliff. Oh, oh, funny. You don't even get me that back. <laughs> Um, you say all this out loud. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, 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 no. Oh, never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll find a replacement. Um, I'm thinking that was an offering again because it's really fun. On the goblin? On the, um, yeah, just as, as it's running away. Um, and I'm going to call him short again, but again, it just sounds like clattering. Cool. Uh, he fails. Hooray! And he takes a one d four psychic damage. Get out of here, Jordan. <laughs> Two damage. Um, and would have disadvantage on its next attack roll, but I don't think it will. <laughs> it's almost like he's running away. Oh. Skeletal. <laughs> I'm gonna take the guy again. Okay. Roll it. That's a miss. And you see him. Yeah. It's not gonna work. Here's the tower. All right. Seven damage. Cool. That'll hit. Cool. Roll damage. Actually, I... your your plus is like four or something, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, how do you beat him? How do I beat him? Yep. <laughs> how gruesome am I allowed to be? Yeah, with a reason. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna slap him as hard as I can. I won't be. Super gruesome. But I was thinking more like in the face and like, <laughs> <laughs> like you know, I just let him put me in the yeah. You guys watch the skeleton just goes slap and this guy's head goes <laughs> like what he like what he did to me, but I'm a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and, and practicing before and, and he just sort of his eyes just kinda of go. 
and he falls down. <laughs> um, Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> that killed him. <laughs> Wait, humans can't have their heads spinning as well. <laughs> Stop being human. Unless you guys are actively going after the goblin, he will escape. Uh, no, I, I won't. <laughs> I'm, I'm not chasing the goblin. Cool. Uh, you're out of combat. <clears throat> um, and those at the cliffside can roll me a perception. No. Thirteen. No, no, it's only a no. Okay. Uh, both of you guys put a lookout and sort of look at this nice view of the sort of town. I'm going to do something in a second. Okay. Um, <laughs> you do notice just off the cliff, dangling from a tree, is an arm. Ooh, how did that get there? <laughs> did I notice it come past anyone before? Probably a history. <laughs> 16? Yes. Uh -huh. You do remember it going past you. I found your arm. <laughs> I'd put myself back together. <laughs> Raising from the ground. Well, I would like to loot the corpse. Okay. Um, Roll me an investigation. Same here, actually. And I'm going to animate death. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, I only got three. Um, I only got three as well. <laughs> so the two of you go to this corpse at the same time and kind of go, <laughs> and he just goes, ding, 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 at this, um, Horse. Um, the, the human or the goblins? Oh, I'm assuming the human. The human. The goblin goblins. As, as, the goblins yeah. as the human then re stands up again. Whoa! He's like a friend! <laughs> no! <laughs> it's been broken. Yeah, you can choose one. Uh, are you animating a. I don't know how it works, whether it's a zombie or a skeleton, which one it picks. Does the oh. spell specify? Um. Uh, it's. I think I can pick. Uh, it doesn't the, specify. The part of the top of the skeleton if you choose bones. So yeah, I'm gonna another skeleton, please. Okay, so it has to be a pile of bones. Okay, so the skeleton of the guy stands up as his adventuring gear still lies, almost like one of those chalk drawings. So he literally just steps up. No, the skin is just gonna stand there on the ground. <laughs> there are now five skeletons. <laughs> yes. I'm moving out of the way. Keep <laughs> moving. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to take his arm. You can have one of the arms. Take the golden arm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want people to look at me again. <laughs> I'll look at the man and be like, look at that one weird skeleton. What did you get? 15. So you start moving through more of this guy's gear as Tui walks over and just kind of pulls the arm. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, it's also looting. Looting is part of it. There is now a skeleton for all intents and purposes who has a disadvantage to hit things. Yes. <laughs> kind of... um, you, you find on this guy a somewhat full map of the island. Oh, hey. Very good. Uh, he also has a longsword and a strange magical looking dagger Ooh. and a wanted poster of some kind roll me a history with advantage every everybody um anyone who's looking at the poster oh i'll look at the map oh, i will <laughs> my friend uh ooh, 19. so investigation yeah 19. No, no, history oh history 19. 15. 13. and advantage oh <laughs> with advantage? Yeah, it's it's with advantage. Yeah, in mind. <laughs> so anything above fifteen? Um it's the necromancer. The one who raised you. It's happy. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray. And then I need two arcane checks from you two again. Uh-huh. Barber flesh bag. Seventeen. Twenty. Oh. No, twenty-three. Right, so the two of you sort of, when you hear, oh, puppy, and you sort of look at this poster, it sort of triggers something, and that pull becomes a bit more clearer again. And you both kind of look up, and you have this feeling that it's coming from this island over here. I take the dagger and longsword, and then the map, <laughs> and I give you the longsword, the map, and go, new flag. 
<laughs> Very good. <laughs> Are you trained in um a, in using a longsword as a role? Uh, I wouldn't be I mean... for a weapon. No, I was just wondering. <laughs> <laughs> You're proficient in long swords. Okay, then. So if you fought with it, you can actually fight with it. Cool. Did you two not grab weapons in inventory? I've got, I've got an armed combat, so I'm never going to use a weapon. Okay. Can I have the dagger? Sure. Yay! <laughs> cool, so I've got a long sword as well now. Excellent. It can I've replace my jacket. Which doesn't exist anymore because it went off the cliff. <laughs> um, do we, do we have, like, did we have stuff in our purse when we washed up? Huh? No, no, you were just bones. Okay, okay cool. So I, I don't have the longing. <laughs> cool. I That's fine. Who needs things when you've got friends? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. What do you guys do now? Um, shall we make our way over to the island? What island? The island. Oh, isn't that where we? That's that's where he is. Oh, that's where he is. Oh, oh yeah. Well, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I assume everyone has the same fault as me. What? Of course. That's a great point. We could just walk, I suppose, just go straight under the ocean. Yeah. Stroll. We could do that. Is there any reason why we could? Roll me histories. Eight. Nat one. Reroll. Yeah, it's perfectly safe. Oh no. Uh, seventeen plus two. Nineteen. Oops. That's got a eight. Guys, I'm telling you, eight. it'll be fine. You're you're not too sure, but this one sounds very convincing. I'm so. Confident. You two sort of remember. Right. We do not breathe. You you, Wil Wilbur and Tui have flashes again of when you were slowly becoming sentient and you remember being tossed around in water like you were thrown through a current and you ended up on a beach just recently like that, that incident, it's, it's recently happened mm. <laughs> it feels like that flash is quite recent. no i'm pretty sure no 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 no, no. we should vote <laughs> me and my friend are voting together <laughs> what are these names I'm gonna think of what I'm working on. He's currently nameless, but I'll get there. I'm gonna call him nameless for now. Yeah, nameless is fine for now. Uh, nameless raises its own arm. Good nameless. Convince me. His own Lee arm. <laughs> I'm gonna call him Lee. Why wouldn't the water be bad? Oh, um, you know, confidence. Hmm. <laughs> that is a compelling argument. Mm -hmm. But apparently it's full of currents. And yeah. I can't stand currents. <laughs> mm, current affairs are boring. <laughs> no, those little, those little raisiny things. <laughs> I'm going to call them numbskull. <laughs> numbskull. <laughs> I looked up boring puns. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, I, I am undecided whether or not we should go across the <laughs> water. Uh, should we get a better view of the ocean? We'll just walk in that direction until we get to the beach. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Are you just going to walk off the cliff? No. <laughs> I just need to walk to, and then I stop and go, oh yeah. <laughs> you, have a, you have a man, hey, and you have a path. There's an arm down there. <laughs> yeah, your arm. Ah, no. Oh, the new one. His yeah. arm. Yeah. <laughs> should, we, should we just carry on up the road? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Which road are we currently on? That you're, 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 one? you're currently there at the cool. moment. This is basically this. So this is it. Quite. Camera. Oh yeah. They are there. No. Nope. Uh, <laughs> down. 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 There. And I take it the one directly to the right is where the town was, where we... Yeah. Cool. So you basically have somewhat of an aerial view of the island, almost like you're at the peak of the island here. What is this black magic? Looking at the island, but I'm not above the island. <laughs> Wait, you could be above the island. Oh, you should climb up a tree. <laughs> climb up a tree and tell us what you can see from the top. Convince me. Um, I think that's it. It's a good yeah, idea. Yeah. I'm going to climb up where the golem came from. Cool. Can I have a climb check? Be athletics. Mm, yeah, 19 plus 7. 
Cool. Uh, the other fellow just turns, run through the goblins, and jumped off and almost just, almost like he was walking on the ground. <laughs> his neck went up to this little sort of how would you call it? It's this extra level that's just above there, and up there is a tree. Just oh, a, a tree on top of this tree as well. You can be another climb. Seventeen. Cool. Um, about two minutes go by, and you guys are sort of looking in the direction where Skeletal went, and suddenly his head pops up on top of the tree. Strange coconut. Thanks. What about Levin? In my perception. You so well. You, 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 you're putting up there, and you're sort of looking around, and Leaf just goes <laughs> before your eyes. It's very foggy up there. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all I see? You, you can leave one eye and kind of a blurred vision of the rest of the island. It's foggy, you say? Yep. Are you in the clouds? I think so. Oh, you must have climbed up so high. It's a tall tree. <laughs> I'm going to come down. All right. Fair enough. I'll let you climb down. <laughs> I still have the leaf on. It's now my eye patch. Okay. Oh. Um, can you put a little note saying disadvantage? Um, visual perception. <laughs> so, somewhere while you have this leaf patch. Okay. You can get rid of it when you get rid of the leaf. <laughs> but it can do a fire if you go like under, under a ship or whatever. You can switch the eye patch over and your dark vision's like a top <laughs> Like for that moment, we'll get there. Can we jump into the light? Hear things. Like at the moment? General. Yes, you can hear sounds of things, yes. Unusual. Cool. Your weird magical creatures. Smell? <laughs> Smell, yes. Taste, no. Cool. You don't have tongues. No. I miss tasting. <laughs> yes, I'm trying to lick the ground, but I have no tongue. I forgot. Oh, um, no I forgot uh, on your raid, you also pulled a rock out of this guy's pocket. Oh, I pulled a rock? A, a rock. It was like a weird looking shiny rock. Okay. Shining your your obsession. <laughs> Make me forget about it. I uh what I'm looking for is gonna pick in my eye. You're gonna take the other rock and shoot. I've got chest. Oh shit. Sure. I'll put it underneath the eye patch. Okay. I take the leaf off and then put the leaf back on. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shall we carry it up the road? Yep. Yeah, okay. I don't see anything. Probably no danger. Yeah, surely. Do you have anything to say, Nun Skull? She doesn't. Good no. conversation. <laughs> Can we not? Are we not telepathically linked to us? Can I go and speak to some dry water? Hey, hey, bud, do you have anything to say? No. <laughs> yeah, that's probably no. about where you get. There, there is no sentient logic behind it. It's remote controlled by you, essentially. Okay, bud. He's shy. <laughs> <laughs> probably a little sad. He lost his arm. Yeah. <laughs> We're just leaving a hunk of flesh on the ground. Yeah, no bone. Literally, it's just out of his skin. <laughs> it was so it was wild, and I loved it. <laughs> okay, so you guys just continue walking north? Yeah. Upland? I'm taking a request for whatever people want me to play. We can take his armor. You can go back if you want. No, I don't, I don't want it. <laughs> I got the shirt and the dye patch. I'm good. We're <laughs> great. Progressively turning into a pirate. <laughs> cool. uh, so about an hour goes by and you end up getting to the split in the road here. You do have this map as a way of knowing which road goes where. I, I lower the long sword so that we can look at this map. So we'll want to we'll go right? Carry on with that kind of trajectory? Yep. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Do the arms have it? The arms have it. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> we got to it. Um, can I get uh, perceptions from you guys? Well, mm -hmm. non net twenty. Twelve. Fifteen. Eight. <laughs> uh, those above fifteen. Visual perception. Uh, oh, no, yeah. no, yeah. not for this. This is a this is a um hearing one. Okay. Uh, as, you guys, as you guys are walking down this path, uh, you can you, you can hear you can hear this argument happening further down the path. 
between two people complaining from what sounds like one wanting to pass and the other one being in the way. Hmm. What? Oh, people are arguing. What people? People are arguing. Fair enough. They might be there then. Trade more skeletons. <laughs> Shall we sneak up and see what we can... I think there's a limit to how many need. Oh, you can... I can only do two skeletons, I'm sorry. I can do two as well. We'll create an army. <laughs> Good. We can all have one. <laughs> <laughs> we can be our own often. We don't even split the party in half. You know we're doubling. <laughs> we're playing with numbers today. <laughs> well, the next time that means we can send our creations off the other way. With no one to like the guy. <laughs> Very good. Just keep walking in that direction. Don't stop. There's a town there. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's almost like you're fully dancing and so you're like, oh. Actually, we, we haven't told them he's like, I did break skeletal from the bed. I, I woke up in the bed before anyone else and I found the corpse and I was like, oh yeah, he could be one of me. I'm going to mess with him. Yeah. So what's the plan, guys? I think we're heading down, down the right path. Yeah, uh, yeah let's go down. We'll, let's get to it. Yeah, you're, so you've been heading down the right path. And um, as you guys... Right, sneaking up so we can look at these people. Right. Yeah. Stealth? Yeah. Roll stealth? All right, I'll stealth. It's numb stealth stealthing. Pardon? It's numb stealth stealthing. He's trying his best. Yeah. 19. I got a natural 20. Oh, oh I'm going to ruin the draft. <laughs> Plus 7. I felt something. I'm going to get half like the skeleton. 27? 19. 19. 7. <laughs> this seems very fitting because I rolled a 6 for non skill. <laughs> We didn't, we didn't get that memo that we'll be quiet. I'm, I'm chatting to him. So you, you three just kind of start coming around the path and sort of blend with the side of the road, just a part of nature, and in some cases, quite literally part of nature. Uh, you, you guys are walking around this corner, almost realizing, oh, we've got to stealth because the others have vanished. Just kind of walk around and are immediately greeted by a few people who seem to be having two carts who have crashed into each other. And we're in the middle of yelling at each other, who have stopped and have turned and looked at you. And one has gone, Skeleton! And the other one's gone, Ah! And some dude standing, <laughs> ah! Someone standing on the other side of the cart sort of pops up and looks very heavily armoured and brandishes some sort of spear. I mean, they're technically not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> we aren't skeleton. Wave to them. Initiative. Okay. <laughs> Is that everyone, even though we're well, not there? You were sort of a threat. So the way, uh, this is definitely going to be something I'm going to need to figure out what people are. <laughs> How do I make a path that makes no sense? So, here's the bush, here's the path. I've got more tendrils. Yeah. Here you go, you got them all. <laughs> yeah, you don't know what you're trying to create now. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. I'm putting the card over there. Um, just create the the, the roads. So what are the Mr. Handys? Mr. The, the, so these two look like they're some sort of farmers. Okay. There's another one over there. And heavily armored dude over there. Okay. Is that us three here? Yep. Here's the skeleton. <laughs> I'm using the one because it's like skinny and useless. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, 20 up. 20. <laughs> Skills off. Uh, 15 to 20. Uh, uh, 20 even. Dirty 20. Sorry. Mm. That, I, I'm used to minusing things for my, my Um, Did you. Are you rolling for. Uh, and, um, um, I think he uh, acts on my bonus action. He acts on your bonus action? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so 15 to 10. <laughs> what are you guys? Oh, wow. <laughs> I got nine. Did you add your debt to it? Oh, no. No, I got five. That's a little better. Oh, yeah. I got 21. But... What a scott. <laughs> Uh, skeleton, you're up first. Wave to them. 
I wave. <laughs> I'll hold an action. What's your action? Uh, to attack him if they like run up and attack her. Okay, so um, with with actions you can't hold a movement and an action kind of thing. You've got oh, to be holding something specific. So I'll hold a rock and I'll chuck a rock. At you. Okay, so, so you're going to throw a rock. Yeah. Is it a rock from the ground or a special rock? There's a rock on the ground. Okay. Um, Keys. Um, I'm gonna buy a rock. Cast Blade Ward on myself, um, and until the end of my next turn, I have resistance against bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage dealt by weapons, by weapon attacks. Cool. Um, Did the waving do anything? <laughs> so Keys is waving like this, and then sort of playing on the ribs, and sort of this weird glow comes off Keys. Mm. That hasn't diffused the situation. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm gonna get I'm gonna get Nuskull to take a few steps forward. Not like go to attack or anything, but like in the way. move move towards them. Something between me and them. Do it. What? Oh, can you like disengage? You know, he's like blocking their food. <laughs> Probably not. Actually, there's multiple people looking. <laughs> if if I can't, can't, how close can I sneak? I guess that depends on my snap stealth roll. Mm. Well, I'm going to try and sneak closer. <laughs> oh, that's a six plus five. You remember what you rolled for stealth before? No? no. Okay. 19, I think. Was it 19? When? Uh, when you first head in the bush. Oh, uh, yeah, it was something good. It was yeah, something like... You got all great when I was there. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll let you go with the 19 still. Cool. So, so I'd, li- I'd like to move as close to them as I can with my 19 still. Okay, so basically this is the bush line down here. Yeah. Uh, pick a mini. Yeah, <laughs> just one closest. Yeah. So if I... So there... And basically, so the path goes and converges out that way. So how close to me is the heavily armoured guy? Down there. 5, yeah, 10, like 15. Oh, this yeah. be 20, uh, about 25 feet. It's <laughs> <laughs> about 25 feet away. Okay. No. I'm going to collapse into bones. <laughs> I'm going to sneak up and jump up. Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, so, this guy runs around the car that's here somewhat, next to these three here, and the three of them sort of will pull out sort of weird makeshift sort of farming equipment and stand ready. And then it's Wilbur. Got to do something. I can't just stand there. You don't do a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> do I stay stealthy or do I walk out in a completely ineffective way? Yeah. I mean, not being stealthy has gone well for me so far. <laughs> yeah, but look at all these people mm. that have decided to take exception to your very presence. Mm. Would they get intimidated by more skeletons? <laughs> we have to hope. Okay, I'm going to walk up. I'm going to walk up to uh, walk up. Yep, just stroll on out. <laughs> Try to intimidate them. Yep, intimidate them with numbers. Roll me intimidation. And Skeletor, you're up next. Your, your triggered action has gone. Oh, not going along. 14. Okay. It's your turn, Skeletor. Okay. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna join you in this direction. Oh, oh, oh I see how it is. <laughs> um, I'm going to oh, I'll cast something. Let's. I'm gonna move forward even more and cast Thunder Wave. Uh, move forward on the way. I feel we don't hit. Yeah, you're on the other side of Lee now. How far is Thunderwave? Oh, how big is Thunderwave? Uh, Thunderwave is 
So 15 foot clear from yourself, isn't it? Yeah, sure is. So you're wanting to get as many of them as close? Yes, please. Now, I have a question about that square. Is it from the edge of the square from the corner? It's a cube. So 5, 10, 15. Okay. So it'd be about there. So standing here, 5, 10, 5, 10. Yep, you can get all three farmers in it. Hooray! Not leave. Yeah. Uh, no, no, I'm still in range yeah, of that. Yeah, it's like any other direction, right? Um, yeah. yeah, so he is. He's just on the cusp. Oh, Bonus action, make him move back a bit. Oh, yeah, can I do that? Can I do yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> you don't really kill him. Well, make a gesture at him to take a couple of steps back. What, like that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, everyone needs to make, oh, everyone, they need to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, 19, 16, and... Twelve. Uh, the twelve fails. They would pass. Um, and on a success, they take half as much damage. I'm doing two d eights. Taking your eyes from it. No. Yeah. No. Not bad. Uh, twelve damage for the full, and then six for the two fail. To the for the two successes. Sorry. Um. Okay. In uh, addition, anything unsecured is uh. Push back 10 feet. <laughs> this guy falls over and pulls back 10 feet. Um, and and the other thing is, <laughs> yes, <laughs> I, I think something that might be quite important, but we'll have to wait and see. Is uh, the spell admits a thunderous boom audible up to 300 feet. <laughs> oh, no. That's a good stealthy spell. <laughs> I like to turn back to the group, I don't think double thumbs up. Do it. And there's an armor skeleton going on. I put myself back together, hearing this loud, thunderous noise. You can't do anything. I know, I can put myself back together. The reason I went to the guard, oh, sorry. The reason I went that way to do all my sneaking was like, because I was going to do my sneak attack, but I've just remembered that we got rid of. Well, I just removed all my other weapons because they didn't exist when yeah, I came off the ocean. Yeah, but sneak attacks with or ranged weapons only. Oh. So hiding was not helpful in any way. Is that Jadwin would have counted as a finesse? <laughs> yeah, would have. That's why I tried to sneak attack it then. Uh, you know, I'm just going to end my turn now that I'm <laughs> standing up. <laughs> Cool. Um, these two scream in pain due to this loud, thunderous wave that went at them, and then engage in and both scream, "No! It killed Henry!" And Sorry, both miss. Henry. <laughs> yeah. uh, this guy. Oh no! Gets to there and pulls out a sword. Oh, no! Don't worry, Janita. Well, then. How far are we on the table, my table? Would I be on the bad table? joke? Just turn up and chat. I know. They say, <laughs> why are skeletons not funny? Because they don't have funny bones. They do have funny bones. They're they have funny bones. <laughs> <laughs> We're all funny bones. I think you're thinking of. Ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what these guys are going to be after with. Will I be able to engage with this farmer here? Yes. Okay. So I can move over here. He accepts your proposal. Hoping <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with my dagger. Go cool. roll with it. It's very yeah. sweet. We say that now. <laughs> oh, I hate <need>. Plus. <laughs> Um, the mystical dagger, right? Mm. Oh, yeah. That Dex or yeah. the Dream? It's Dex because it's finished. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, that's annoying then. I don't know. It's nine. It's nine. You, you, you walk up to the farmer and go, ah, oh, I'm trying to stab at him. And he's in the middle of sort of moving around because the air hurt. So the dagger breaks some of this um, cloth shirt. But he seems unfazed by the day. Doesn't even realize you were there. <laughs> no, it's not at all. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a surprise attack in this guy. Start mourning him from behind. Still just run and attack him? Yeah. Nope. So, roll, roll to a hit. Missed that. 
I mean, yeah, I missed that one, obviously. <laughs> it's both of them. It's a skeleton from one and two. So the skeleton runs up to the armored guy and just goes. <laughs> <laughs> You just give him a weird loose hug. Can do a grapple attack as well? <laughs> no, that wasn't I, a grapple. I think a grapple was in action on the yeah. side. He's... Um, I'm going to cast whole person on the heavily armoured person. Uh, they need to make a wisdom save and throw I'm going to use your hand and get my own part of that as well. Uh, no, uh, target. <laughs> At least. Oh, okay. you're, you're lucky. <laughs> I was really too sick. What are you two? 14? Balfour one. Yeah. And he's just And so um, your new friend just becomes more like a statue. Um and I'm gonna get Nunko to go over there and uh, smack him. Smack him. Smack him. Oh. <laughs> My son. It's just gonna head him to death. Do you wanna roll his attack? Sure. Just uh um plus one. Uh ten. Plus one. Yeah. That that one did. Oh, <laughs> he's not wielding anything. It's, yeah. just, it's, it's him wielding his arm. Tui. No, I'm wielding his arm. I should wielding it. Roll, roll me it again, just in case you get a one, because it's at disadvantage because he's only got one arm. Uh, so it was uh fourteen. Okay. Mm. Um, yep. So it's the lower one. So Tui. Tragic. I'm going to head up to the heavily armed. Guard and use my new long sword and slash at him with it. Cool. You can attack it with advantage. Oh, what's the advantage for? Ah, uh, because he's paralyzed. Oh. oh. That's seventeen. Long sword will be strength or deep strength, right? Couldn't tell. It's strength. I think it's strength. Yeah. Cool. Uh, <laughs> so eighteen to hit. Cool. That'll hit. That's 1d8 slashing. <laughs> and that is 5 plus, and again, it's strength, isn't it? So yep. plus 1. 6. Cool. Oh, I'm proficient with it as well, but well, I've like, already hit. Cool. Um, this guy turns and notices that more skeletons have appeared. And starts trying to run. Oh, boy. <laughs> Ah. Oh, right. You two get a tax of opportunity on him. Oh, yeah. I'll try. And at the same time, this guy also turns and runs. So you can choose whether you're attacking this guy or that guy, because they're um, both running. I don't think I get much of a choice. I rolled a two. Okay. <laughs> 13. All right, you'll hit him. Yay. Full damage. I don't know what damage the... the it's a d4 damage. for a dagger. D4? It looks all magical, so I think it should probably be a d30. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of, but you haven't taken the time to analyze it. So you don't know what it can do. It wouldn't matter. I'd only be able to see its attack. Stupid me. I just found one. As you get, as, as you drop that, I just found one. Three. Okay. Is it burst into flame or no? Into stone? Or no, he's just going to go. Ah, I'm just kind of keeps running. Oh. No. And so just that's a useless bolt that way. Is. This guy bolts that way. Oh well, we're just gonna have to go over. Oh, uh, for being a whole person, does he have to roll something for that, or is it? Uh, yep. So that is a wisdom saving throw. Oh, the wisdom. Oh, he's gonna fail that. Yeah. Well, well, it's your turn. Is it? Yep. That oh. was a reaction. Oh, of right. course. Was... We're gonna run over and Hope for the heavily armored fellow. Okay. 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 It's D4 plus DX. Okay. Ah, uh, then that's five. Okay. Uh, skulls off. I mean, you would have done seven damage to the village yeah. guy. Yeah. Still alive. Right. Well, I'm going to uh, maul at him again. It was an advantage. Advantage? Yep, because he's still alive. Was the first one nine? 
Thirteen. Is that him? No. Okay. Uh, it's fourteen. Eighteen. Eighteen will hit. At least I hit him once. <laughs> Twelve. Uh, how do you beat him? <laughs> how do you guys want me to beat him? It's up to me. Yeah. I can describe him if you want. Uh, um, so yeah. Can I just go both hands? Yep. Yeah. Hold the channel. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Um, that will end combat there as well. Woo. As this guy just drops dead, and the two villagers yeah. bolt off in two different directions. Yeah. 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 We want more friends. More friends. As I turn to try and fuck yeah. Yeah, we got two bodies. Yeah. 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 Way out of range. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, so we're both gonna animate dead one of the one of the corpses each. I'm not even attempt it. I've never done it before. Um, I don't think there's much we have to do. I think it just kinda happens. It's just smell. Yeah, yeah it just okay. happens. Okay. What do you have in your new friend? Uh Chester. <laughs> Chester, um yes. gonna carry the last off. Oh god. <laughs> yes. That's go a good with, idea. Um, well, we haven't really got the last half. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna Louis guy create. Yes, <laughs> I'll, I'll point out there are there are two carts that are crashed and basically where these things would be. There are two carts and there are horses on each cart that are just kind of sitting there. We can legally go down this path. Yes. <laughs> the cart track. I'm so glad. I need to. Can you animate the horses as well? Can we kill the horses and you reanimate them and then we have skeleton horses? <laughs> Yeah. I mean, we can only do that with one. I've only, we've only got one anime oh, dead land. Oh, what was your other one's name? Um, uh, I'm working on it. Matilda. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> like Matilda? Yes, it's the skeleton made from The Sims. Yeah, Bone Hilda. Bone Hilda. Cool. Um, so what do you guys do now? I would like to loot a body. Well, the skin sacks on the ground. And I'm going to go through the carts. Okay. Uh, two investigations. Fifteen plus two is seventeen. Net twenty plus two. Okay. Um, you find on that guy he has a dagger and a short sword. He was wielding the short sword at the time, and he's wearing like some sort of heavy armor. Yeah. And he appears to have a bag of gold on him. Rummaging through the carts, you realize that some of it seems to be sort of like food supplies and some fish and stuff. And there is this weird section off bit that has a bunch of sort of odds and sods in it. As you're rummaging through, you find a strange shiny rock that looks very similar to Skeletal's shiny rock. Matching rocks! <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to pocket the gold and the dagger. Where are you going to pocket the gold? He would have had a belt you can take as well. I will let you have a belt. <laughs> yeah. uh, and what, can I take his boots? Go for it. <laughs> oh, boots and a hat. <laughs> The farmer or the, or the guard? Oh, uh, the guard. Okay. One of each. Does anyone want a short sword or heavy armor? Neither? Oh! Uh, oh heavy armor might actually. Say what it's been for me. I'll put the armor on. And then what do you guys want? I no, no, no. I want oh, well, 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 for me. Heavy armor stat. Do you know? Um, It would be chainmail under the stat. So it's like a heavy ish set of armor. Yeah. Let's play a game of can I use a short sword? <laughs> It's a bard? Yes. I'll take the, I'll take the okay. short sword. Cool. Uh, how much it's about gold? Gold me. Uh, ten. Cool. It's not all in gold coins. There's like some silvers and coppers and stuff, but yeah. With this card, we can create a business. Can <laughs> 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 I get an arcane check from you? Uh -huh. The Calcium Coffee Cart. Uh, nineteen. You have the strange urge to eat the shiny rock. I immediately do. <laughs> cool. Uh, you guys watch as uh, Bo. Uh, sorry, not Bo. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> skeleton thing. Keys. Looks at the rock for a second, just goes, oh, and eats it. And there is this kind of blast of light. Oh. What happens? You guys all hear Bones say, what happens? Uh, I take it. <laughs> <laughs> same, thing, same thing happens to you. <laughs> <laughs> is that the only difference? Is it just that we can Yeah, you guys can talk now. You essentially have voice boxes. 
I don't have anything else I need to do on this campaign. Do you, do you, I'm set. Do you, I can sing again. Do you keep it in your mouth or? It's, it's, it's fused into oh, okay, cool. Like a limb, you could remove it and give it to someone else if you felt the need. I was gonna say, I feel like neither of you are going to do this. Drop it from your skull into mine, but it sounds awful. <laughs> you bring your skull right up mine and put it to like it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, in, in, <laughs> uh, keys in the cart as well. Um, I realise that sentence. Um, there is a map that basically has a path that goes like this, and it seems to loop up this way and up oh, here, yeah. which isn't on here because it didn't print out as a circle okay. area. Um, shall we go up to the very top of the island? We should use the gun to get there. We can get there. Oh, really. this is so quick. Do we want a, do we want a dead horse as well? <laughs> I don't know if I can bring one back, but we can yeah, try. You've got, uh, you should have two... Uh, the it's not. It's, it's not a thing for you, is it? Animate, animate. Yeah, because yeah. it's a, it's a Rachel. Uh, no, it's, it's, it's a Rachel. Yeah, you can only do it once. Oh. Oh, okay, I was, I, was, I was gonna say. No, it's it's, it's the Rachel thing. Everyone knows animated corpses is a Rachel thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I... <laughs> yeah, I'm not actually a mage. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go well, talk to the horse and try and tame it. <laughs> oh, I am great horse. <laughs> It's going to sound like Skeletor. Fifteen. You were not mine, horse. It was all going to look at you. It's sort of perplexed. I mean, it seems to be like, okay, it talks to me. Cool, whatever. I'm just going to sit there. I'm going to listen to you out of fear. Chester. Chester wanders over and climbs in. Uh, c- come on, uh, Nubs Gold, what was Bo Hilda? Bo Hilda. Bo Hilda. Bo Hilda. I want to talk to you now. I'm going to give them the nickname Hilda and Skull, just to show them down. <laughs> so, one horse cart just kind of rears out of this other one that's been sort of pushed off the road, and the other horse sort of makes a noise like it's annoyed that people have just ditched it. <laughs> you're probably lucky. As you guys sort of bolt off down this sort of really bumpy kind of path and sort of bouncing along the road, there's seven skeletons in the way. <laughs> So this journey Hold on. Um the, the first one, uh what was his name again? The Numskull? Numskull. Numskull. He originally was a, a guy with a sword right. Would he be able to use that short so we picked up? Yeah. Okay, yeah. we'll give him a sword then. Yeah. My sword and I'll just keep doing spells. <laughs> and I bet here you are, Nam Skull. <laughs> Have my sword. The sword is where the old sock was. <laughs> he he, he oh, just puts the, the handle into his socket thing there, so it, just, it looks like it's an arm that's made out of a sword. <laughs> But he will have I'm to read it. I'm ready to fight. <laughs> <laughs> got a foxy farmer. <laughs> Till the fields for me. <laughs> so a journey that probably would have taken a couple of hours. How many? A couple. Oh, so. oh okay. Yeah, the couple. The memorial is the rest for us. It's a long rest. <laughs> so if anyone took damage, we could heal. Still mm. need this. You're considered. <laughs> this would be considered a short rest for this weird journey for you, so you can roll your health dice to heal back up. I'm, I'm going to as well. What are they going to think if we go to a D10? Yeah. <laughs> uh, left, welcome to the Black Parade. <laughs> I use two of my hit dice and I'm back up to four. Awesome. Which is 44. Cool. Um. As you guys are sort of rocking along, um, I need at least one more animal handling from Skeletor. Oh, and we, we're about to get a short hour in this journey. Oh, 
up a tree. Sixteen. <laughs> if anything, the second half of this two-hour journey is actually a little bit more control. Uh, <laughs> nothing controlled about it. <laughs> I'm so disappointed it's an alive horse and not a pony. <laughs> So you guys basically get up to this upper curve of this island here and the path seems to split off into two different directions. One seems to curve around and seems to be the one that comes down here. And the other one seems to curve up a bit more up to the top of the island. Well, I mean, we want to go to the right. Yeah. Uh, go to the right. Up, up. Yeah. yeah. Up. So yeah. Not, not that way. <laughs> Up, up. Yeah, you've, 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 you've got up. north. You're going up north. Oh, yeah. You're going in the wrong direction. I'm like going the rain. Like rain. The rain. Yeah. You grab the head and you just turn it up. Oh, better. Oh, I'm the steering wheel. <laughs> so, uh, this, this root part here goes out and it's quite a straight line, and a lot of this ground seems to sort of even out and it seems to be quite flat as you guys sort of go full steam ahead in this direction. Nice. Uh, perceptions. Twenty-three. Twenty-two. Mm. Good roll. Sixteen. One. <laughs> <laughs> Your vision's one from my head. <laughs> Cheese looking just at the road, and obviously, this you guys, as you are slowly coming to the end of this path, you notice that there are a few figures at the end of the path that look like they're manning some sort of station of some kind, like a little mini outpost. Beat up! Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it could be skellies. I'm gonna look the skellies as I'm speeding off. <laughs> Oh, I can't see. You were supposed to do it with disadvantage. You still oh, have yeah. your iPad. Let me do another. I guess that three before was my disadvantage. So I don't see anything then. But I hear him say, speed up, I speed up. Cool. So you rocket forwards with this horse that's basically been told to go forwards. Doesn't really want to argue with the skeleton. I'm laughing nicely. <laughs> Just super quick, by, by Tom, who was, if, if anyone remembers the uh, Cerberus early, he was the guy DMing us. He's, he's in the chat as well. Hi again. <laughs> You've got the cube from this morning. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. <laughs> oh, anyway, so um, you guys are basically rocketing into this outposty sort of thing, um, and it bangs over something, and the whole cart sort of bounces up, I need you all to give me deck saves. Oh no! Taking this. Um, do our friends need to... I just roll for them. Oh, very good. I've got a 16. 10. Tui and Wilbur. Uh, 15. <clears throat> um, well, I got 6, because I've got a plus 5 in depth, and I rolled a nat 1. Oh, buddy! So, what happens is... The cart goes up and sort of bangs over something, and you all kind of go up, and the, all the scaly rows will grab onto something, and all drop down. And Tui kind of goes flying in one direction, smacks into keys, and both of you fall out of the cart. And our rows rub, rub together, and I say, "Ouch!" <laughs> <laughs> As, as you crash on the ground in front of this outposty sort of thing that appears to have one human and what looks like a zombie on a lead standing there. Did as you hit anyone? As you guys crash past this outpost oh. and crash into the water that's basically oh, in this oh, gap. <laughs> you had no way of aiming because you don't know what you were aiming for. <laughs> okay, that's fair. <laughs> I was going to have you roll to aim, but you weren't aiming so <laughs> Brilliant. Um, I mean, I think we probably ended up better off. Yeah, we, we probably, you know, I don't know how much of a mess it was when we ended up on the ground. We probably put our bones yeah. back in place, maybe we swapped an arm or two, who knows. Yeah. But we're all back together, I guess. Yeah. Can I untie the horse and get on it? <laughs> you untie the horse, the moment it, it's untied, it bolts from the cart and takes back off from the other direction. <laughs> you guys in the middle of building up can have deck saves. <laughs> I mean, net 20 plus 5. 19. 
Oh, you guys did well. <laughs> so if you're in the middle of building each other up, and you're almost like half bones in between, is this horse? <laughs> And in the middle of you guys doing this, you also notice that the guy who had the zombie on the lead, the zombie gets bowled over. And oh, the God. horse runs off, and the guy who's holding the zombie on the lead goes, My <laughs> Where's the dog? <laughs> you talk. Yeah. That's unusual. Yeah. I love this. Thing. Like I'm your dog. dog. Greetings, flashback. <laughs> Where did you go from? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Am I are you part of Sir's new army? Yeah. Royal Deception. <laughs> Tom was going to do this money. It's like $2.30 to harm me. Please make it happen. Sure. Okay. Tom, oh, we live together. You're going to have to suffer the consequences. So I originally got a 14, but then it cocked and I landed and got so it's a one. So Skeletor stands there proud in this weird kind of outfit thing. And this guard sort of looks at him and just goes, No, no, he only works with zombies, not skeletons. Why would it be skeletons? It's the other guy who has skeletons. And basically pulls out a crossbow and goes to shoot you, and then for some reason his hand just turns like this and just shoots. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was an 18 hit. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was rude, wasn't it? <laughs> I just thought it was more for one of us than the other. <laughs> you take six points of piercing damage. Okay. And this bolt hits you in the throat. No. Comes out and crashes behind you. Can I roll next to try and get it? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> I rolled a net one, but... Oh no, 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 that's fine. You go to try and catch it, and you end up taking one point of piercing damage as it stabs your hand and takes your hand with it. I've lost the second hand. Good <laughs> roll initiatives! And two guys are hitting one guy with a zombie. With all your skeletons. Nine. Ninety. Fourteen. Four. <laughs> so, what, nineteen? I got a roll. Nineteen. Oh, so, we'll, we'll just go in first. Plus your dex. I got a nine. Uh, I got a, a fourteen. Oh, no, I am smug. <laughs> kind of. So I got four. Okay. <laughs> Which is why I say as my hand puts that rock into the way. I go, oh, there it goes. Tom says, he, he, he. So, well done. I'm going to beat Tom. Thank you, Tom. Like, stop me from being shot. I'm going to beat Tom when I get hot. You can reanimate him. I am not merely strong enough. I'll just go. <laughs> so you're up first while still sitting on the cart with one of your buddies and two of Key's buddies as this cart is slowly moving into the water. <laughs> <laughs> no one stops it, so it keeps going. Oh no. Just destroy him. Yep, so she stops out of the cart and runs at that guy. Are you getting out of the cart? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I will get out of the car. You yeah. gave you gave Chester his sword back, didn't you? No, 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 no. no. That short sword was no short swords on him. So Chester's just running him an arm. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> He's running. Did he still have his dagger? Chester, no, Chester. Uh, didn't he? Didn't you say he had a short sword and a dagger? Ah, uh, yeah, but who, who had the dagger then? I kept the dagger. You the dagger. Yeah, so, okay. yeah, so he's running him to punch the dude. Which he succeeds in doing. Yay! Not one damage. Gently, you marvel. <laughs> um, this guy just kind of looks bewildered by being punched by his skeleton. He's. Um, I am going to. Don't oh, forget about your skelly boys. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna bring um Hilda and Skull over, and I'm gonna. So bonus action, you order them off the boat. The, yeah. the, the newly formed boat. Boat. The boat. <laughs> <laughs> and is anyone standing near 
the um person we're fighting? Yes. Oh uh, no. Chester, Skeletor, and yeah, so essentially it's okay. him, zombie, Chester, Skeletor. I just the zombie ran away. Okay, so I walk. No, the ball ran away. The, zombie, the, zombie, the zombie's standing there just going, oh, hit. Yeah, didn't the zombie get hit by the Yeah, he got knocked over. Oh, okay. I'm gonna He's still there. <laughs> I'm going to cast Vicious Mockery for the first turn. And I'm going to find the spell. Um, <laughs> that's the goal, really. Uh, it is a wisdom saving throw. Again. Oh, 14 to two spells. Uh, 14. Uh, fails. And I take uh, four Mr. damage. Mockery. <laughs> four damage? Uh, they take four damage and um, have a disadvantage on their next attack roll. Um, he looks at you and a small tear comes out of his eye. <laughs> the last person we viciously mocked was the person in the comments of the bad jokes. So. <laughs> uh, he lets go of the zombie and the zombie goes ah, at you. I mean, I would. <laughs> Where did my zombie cheat sheet go? Uh, does a 21 hit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's on the slam. It is a decent. He does sick damage as the zombie. Mac. Oh, it hits you in the face. Yeah. <laughs> and this guy. Yeah. 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 And this guy starts loading up his crossbow again and goes for a shot at you again. Oh. But it's a disadvantage because you viciously mocked him. Yeah. Does a 16 hit. Yes. I'm just getting bullied at this point. Five damage. Okay. As another arrow or bolt comes flying, it just kind of goes into your eye socket. Sorry, the total of damage I took just... Oh, six. six. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, skeletal. <laughs> I'm going to straight up attack him. Call the zombie, the guy. Yep. All the fucking slap him. However you're hitting him. Uh, is it 20 hit? Yes. Ooh. Net 20. Nice. All right, so first damage. Eight. And second one. You do it twice, right? For a, so the second damage and then you crit, yeah? Yeah. Well, 17. Eight, eight, How do you kill him? How do I kill him? Oh, man. <laughs> He's like grabbed his bolt and he's about to put it in like snap. He's like grabbing his snap. He just goes like, I wasn't shooting you, but what? And just falls over. You got my back, I appreciate it. Do it. No. Thanks for staring me. Pass it out. I'm going to let you make the choice of my, which hand did I lose? Left. So in that case, I take my long sword in my right hand and I <laughs> swing it at the zombie. Cool, roll it. Net twenty. Ooh. Roll damage. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's gonna hit. <laughs> it might. <laughs> I said it hit. Yep. So that's two plus. We said strength. Net twenty. Yeah. Three. Uh, dead again. Cool. So that's three damage. And that is six plus one seven. So ten damage. Is that what I said? Three? Yeah. 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 Ten damage. Cool. So you just hack off one of these zombie's arms. Good. And it just kind of goes, uh, 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 for you. <laughs> it doesn't look like the bones are very healthy on this one either. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, he's dead. Oh, I'll have to attack the zombie then. I'll have to stroll over wherever I am. Oh, she got. I'll be him. And I talk. Run with my dagger. Okay. <laughs> it's cock. Try it again. Ooh, 18. So that'll hit. 22. The AC is 8. Oh. <laughs> that'll hit. Right. 
Mm. Keys are up next as well. Taste fierce dagger, Justin. With a one! <laughs> plus, plus, oh, plus, 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 So a plus, 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 uh, Hilda will hit, and Skull will hit. So, Hilda walks up and just goes, and just, the hand just kind of gets half stuck in the zombie. Mm. <laughs> and Skull does a decent chunk at the zombie. The zombie has a chance of surviving. He will not. And um, Skull just goes, and decapitates it. That's my skeletons. And as the zombie falls down, Hilda's arm goes down with it. And sort of stay stuck in the back. We go and help Hilda. <laughs> you are out of combat. Hey! I'm going to search for the other stone. <laughs> I search for a hand, I can't. Oh, perceptions. Can I do investigation or just perception? It's perception to look for. You're looking for a hand that has a rock attached to it. Yeah. Okay. 23. 12. 14. 6. Right, you can all see this hand that's sitting at the side of the road. It's about 20 feet away from all of you. I run to it. <laughs> I run to it. It's a rogue, I dash. Also, probably closer because you were there. <laughs> You'll get there first. Please. I don't hear that. <laughs> And I take it, I plunge my hand back in and immediately put the rock in my own mouth and begin to sing a jaunty little tune. <laughs> How good is it? Performance. Uh, oh, I, I misread which one I had highlighted here is the one I had a good skill in. Great. That's an 8 minus 1. 7. Oh, no, it's a 9 minus 1. 8. I can't try. <laughs> you haven't used vo your voice in a while. It's... People can understand the words, but there isn't very much nice rhyme to it. Make me a song, you're a skeleton. <laughs> oh, <why? laughs> yes. Uh, you can decide whether to fight you or not. Can I, I, can I get full the, uh, hearing perceptions? Twenty-two. Six. Six. <laughs> Fourteen. Not that 20. Uh, all those above 15 easily hear shouting from across the lake. Shut up that thinking, okay? We'll bring the bridge out again. Thank you. I'm too distracted by my um, sadness. <laughs> <laughs> As a tear form somehow. Yeah. There's my Very on that 20. Can I see our boat slash car slash now submarine? Maybe. <laughs> Yes, you can see your boat slash car slash that submarine that seems to have gone in the water and seems to be slowly being pulled by the current away. Oh, okay. Oh, the dangerous current. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> and as you're watching that go that way, you notice uh, some sort of bridge seems to be brought out by some kind of animal that seems to crawl into the water and the bridge seems to be dragged along behind it as it makes its way across to your side of this island. What? And this very big looking turtle thing kind of comes crawling out. Come here. And walks right up to Heck, right the side of the walks up to the side of the land you guys think you're calling it, and it kind of stops at some point. And there's this rope that's just gone taut and it's just kind of walking forwards like it's trying to get away. Oh I I go and let it free. <laughs> I'm not going to take the bridge with it. <laughs> eh. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but actually, you let this turtle free and it just kind of stops. <laughs> and then just starts walking. <laughs> You'd like us, but instead of having a skeleton, it's a shell. So, <laughs> essentially, you guys, people on chat, Ooh. the crazy island that exists. So, essentially, you guys have a bridge that is coming through over here. Mm -hmm. And there is this big sort of castle barracks place on the other side, and the bridge comes in through there. What are those two grey squares on the? Ah, uh, they look like 
outhouse kind of towery sort of things. Outhouse? Out, outside house. house. <laughs> I'm aware of this. One is an outhouse because it's by the lake. <laughs> What's the other one? An outpost. <laughs> yeah, an outpost. There we go. That one? one's out. It's quite fashionable. House. <laughs> In house. <laughs> cool. The one post out house. It is now official. <laughs> Great. Um, I take it we cross this bridge. Yeah. When we come to it. Yeah. And we bring our friends. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'll let you all roll me in our car. Yeah. I didn't hear anything. Number <laughs> <laughs> one. Thirteen. No. 11. All right, it's above 10. Then you all, all those who are above 10, or was it you? I got 17. You got 17, you're all above 10, not the scales on, um, have this almost verbal message coming saying, I can feel you're close, quickly. It won't last much longer. I need your help. <laughs> what did you say? I say out loud and then rush off towards the castle. <laughs> I'm following him. He knows where he's going. I um, rush along. Walking across. Oh, why are you so mean to me? <laughs> uh, so you guys, you guys wander up to the entrance of this barricade. Knock knock. Because <laughs> you can say it. Now. You hear on the other side. Who's there? Skeletor! Alright. <laughs> so how the joke goes. What? Why don't skeletons? Oh, I don't think you're funny. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> what do you want? Because they're not funny. <laughs> Tell them we've got a parcel for them. Oh, uh, we've got a parcel for you. Call me a persuasion. <laughs> Can I also roll persuasion? Eleven. What are you saying is the persuasive thing? Because he said a parcel. Parcel. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, five plus five. I got eleven. <laughs> this is what you get for taking my voice. <laughs> you you hear the sound of something move, and in front of the door, this sort of small eye hole thing sort of slips open. <laughs> And you hear, ah. hey. <laughs> All right, where's this parcel? <laughs> it's real special. <laughs> Come on. Before I don't, <laughs> before I don't believe you, how are you talking? From the very special parcel. We'll be a persuasion to advantage. That was good. Uh, 21. We can show you if you like. Oh, okay, you can put it. <laughs> and there is the sound of something heavy being moved, and the door sort of slightly moves ajar. I collapse into a pile of bones. <laughs> Come on. Perception. I mean, perception. Please. Perception, please. Uh, you're, you're off the pile of bones. Net 20. Net 20. Minus one. You all notice uh, when the pile of bones is created, a voice box kind of rock falls out. <laughs> Live! Wait, I want, to, I want to reach for it as well. Okay. Roll me a slide of hand off. Oh, I love cock. Non natural 20. 16. You're going down with a skeleton just going to. Wait, did you put an echo in your jaw? Everything you say is echo. Everything you think is echo. Oh my god, that is your job now. <laughs> it's this happens, this sort of sort of armored guy sort of he looks like he's not really had an interesting day, sort of sees the seeds about. 
it's a book for you. Don't surrender it as long as you're behind him and he just goes, oh, I'm done. <laughs> Walks into the audience. Look, just keeps walking. I put myself back together. Ah, chain up! Take the It's like unlistenable. I <laughs> stop. And you notice on the side of this room, there is a couple of zombies on each side who appear to be sort of chained off to things, and they just kind of sit there, sort of half leaning forwards. So does that? <laughs> and I guess the other five of us clack along behind. <laughs> Semi silent. <laughs> you guys, gen, gen, general charismas from all four of you? Just. Uh, 16. Just oh, sorry. Oh, so that plus your charisma. 14. 14. Six. <laughs> Two. <laughs> So the first half of you kind of go through, and the zombies seem to almost accept what's going on. And then for some reason, once you guys start walking through, they almost feel like they need to lash out at you. I feel like they need to lash out on this one. They start making a lot of noises <laughs> as you guys walk up to this door that leads into the building. <laughs> Anyone bring the skeleton key? <laughs> Uh, Sadly, that is an item that you have not found. Damn. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> take me down. Oh. Where did we go? <laughs> no one else can hear me. <laughs> um, uh, shall we continue through the? Was, it, was, there, a was there a big door? There's a door in front of you. No, guys. No, 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 no. You guys got all the message I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Didn't didn't you? Can can you contact? Puppy. <laughs> what are we doing? You cast message? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> you you actively know message has to be within 120 feet of the target. Mm -hmm. You feel like targeting Puppy. This is going to hit Puppy. You're within oh, 120 right. feet of Puppy. I, like I don't know why. I called him Puppy. I called him Father. Flashback. Puppy is better. She's never very good with Puppy, so it's Puppy. I have. I don't know. <laughs> Um, what are you doing? Helping me. He's trying to take the staff. It's all the staff is on me. <laughs> that's, that's you only get a response. No, I'm going to keep going. I've got it with a cantrip. Oh, okay, yep. So you, you send another one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know that, but he's controlling them. Okay, how, how do we help you? Well, if you kill him, then he's not an issue for me anymore. Cool, who's him? This other dude in here. Oh, what happened? Can I knock on the door? <laughs> knock, knock. <laughs> you need to touch the door, you were doing it on your <laughs> Um, nothing happens from knocking on the door. I'll try and open it before you open the door. <laughs> Inside. You open the door and it's a big sort of auditorium looking area and at the very end is a cage with a strange coloured sort of orb inside it. Mm -hmm. And standing next to the cage is some guy who's just sort of jabbing it with a stick. I pull out the voice box. <laughs> oh, yeah. both of them. One of them. Okay. And just chuck at you because you have vicious mockery. <laughs> what the hell? So you're not mine. Yes, we are. Are you not? Yeah, we are. No, because I remember. I would remember who I've summoned. You wouldn't remember because you're so happy. I used the shotgun. Pretty heavy, right? He's gonna fail. Ah, uh, cool. That is um. Two damage, and he has disadvantage on his next attack roll. Can I roll history to see if I retroactively took any skin from the, uh... From the who? <laughs> from the various skin piles we've left behind. Sure. I'm not you. I was kidding, but... 
19 plus history to 20. Not that 20. Cool. You've, you've collected about an arm's worth of just random bits of skin that have been patched on. I'm like putting them back on my stuff, <laughs> holding my hand. <laughs> <laughs> um, roll me initiatives. <laughs> no. 13. 12. 19. 9. So, 13, mm-hmm. 12, 19. 19. Okay, so, Tilly, Key, Skeletor, Wilbur, and Dude. Dude. And uh, uh, now the skeleton's gone. You're going. Yeah. Bonus actions. Yep. The dude. All oh, right. I'm attacking him. I guess. So he didn't believe us. He didn't fall for that. Doesn't seem like it. Seems he understands the idea of when you raise a dead, you have complete control of it, and mm-hmm. talking to it is not really <laughs> right. part of the course. I'm gonna attack him with my longsword. Cool. So you run. How far away is he? Yeah. How far away is he? It's about forty feet at the other end of the room. I can dash. Cool. Yep. So I dash over to him, and I'm going to attack with my longsword, which is 14. Uh, I have proficiency and a strength, so plus 4, so 18. That will hit. 1d8. <laughs> 7 plus... Right time to remember. Yeah. 1, 8 damage. Cool. Uh, keys. I'm going to cast Shatter on him. Oh, it's very dramatic. <laughs> cool. I uh, need uh, Tilly to make a save at disadvantage. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I uh, forgot. Dex or? Uh, I think it's Con, isn't it? Uh, con, yeah. 19. Uh, I got 16 plus 2 at is disadvantage. 18. Considered... That's two plus two is four. Oh. You're considered a construct, so. Um, fifteen. Fifteen is the thing. So he saves. He he passes, and you don't. <laughs> what my four doesn't pass? Um, that's tragic, but the truth. Uh, so with passing, it's half as much damage, and I'm rolling three d eight thunder damage. Did I see it coming? Because I do have uncanny dodge. You can't see sound coming, sadly. That's fair. <laughs> Only six damage. Oh, six damage. You'll be fine. Walk it off. <laughs> and my uh, two friends are gonna run have a go at him. They're gonna run forward. Yeah, yep. and um, uh, Hilda and Skull are gonna have a slash. Uh, I don't know. Hit. Okay. Um, do you want me to roll for them, or will you roll? Uh, you, you can roll for them. Okay. One is going to hit and one is going to miss. I'm going to be nice and slash be the one that hits. Hooray! Someone's going to be kind of me and everything that's going to fall. Um, so I'm about 40 feet away from him, right? Yep, yeah, you're all about 40 feet away. We're not quite far enough. I'm just going to move 10 feet up. <laughs> okay. Yep. <laughs> Just enough so I can do another damage. <laughs> I'll move like 15 feet or so. Uh, closer to it within range, but not. Yeah. Okay. Well, what if he moves slowly? I'm away? going to rope my way up and. Okay, yeah, I'm moving 25 feet. <laughs> so I'm not quite. Okay. Near him. So you just run up and just poke him with a dig? Uh, well, he won't see it coming. No, he won't. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. There are skeleton bones everywhere. Oh. That's a two. Oh, plus six. Plus six. That's what you said. Um, you'd be getting that an advantage because he's currently engaged with our oh, right. gardens. Right. Okay. The exact same role. <laughs> <laughs> That's a say you're a rogue, which means you do get sneak attack bonus as well, but not if you don't hit. No. Mm. Uh, cool. Um, he looks at all of you guys and disappears. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, Tilly. <do we? laughs> I collapse into a pile of fun. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, okay. Um, can I can I pull a friend to see if he's like just gone invisible or he's like gone? What wrong with perception? Go. Oh. 
<laughs> I'm yeah, I'm stoked. Um, and I'm gonna see if I can find uh the voice here. Voice there. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's coming from the weird orb that's inside the cage. <laughs> Are you in the orb? I cast message. <laughs> yes. I go look at the orb. I get. Did I get you say that out loud? Like the orb <laughs> said? Or... <laughs> Just that same. Oh no, he touches the new media. I can tell them. Um, I'm gonna pick up a uh, brick and I'm gonna chuck it at the old, uh, the cage or whatever. <laughs> Do you roll an attack? Uh, we'll look at anything. 11. Cool, this brick goes flying, goes through the uh, bars of this cage, just goes, <laughs> this magical orb that just sort of crashes outside. Well, it's solid. <laughs> I'm unconvinced he's gone. I'm gonna try poking around the area where he was. <laughs> Just reminds me. Yeah, yeah. Just over. I, I'm, I'm going because this isn't technically how the spell works, but I'm just going to time it like this anyway. Roll me an attack. Okay. At advantage. <laughs> yes, great. Maybe. Yes. Okay. Cool. So you're stabbing around aimlessly like this, and he blinks back into existence as you stab. Ha! Roll me damage. Okay. Is he surprised? Yes. But sneak attack? It would be, yes. <laughs> two, two D6 added on top of that. Okay. Two D6 on top of my two. Oh. Ooh. <clears throat> so that's a 13. Hmm. Yes. Um, <laughs> as you're stabbing him, you get the urge of uh, a magical power that could come out of this dagger. You feel like it could deal poisonous damage to Ooh. anything that it's stabbing and the thing that is stabbing with it. Would you like to engage this power? Yes, I would. Cool. Roll me a d10. Divine one. Another one. Seven. As he starts screaming in agony, as this poison kind of hits him, and he's just like, Ah, and the poison sprays back at you and just kind of soaks it into your bone and you just kind of stare at your hand because you're immune to poison. Ah, nice. <laughs> uh, yes. Me. I put myself back together again. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I just forgot it's the dude's turn as well. Oh. Oh, no. Well, we already know what you're doing next turn. Yeah. <laughs> Until then, I remain bones on the floor. Uh, let's see, I can add two of each one going up. How many skeletons are there? Seven. Yeah, seven. Yeah, seven. Everybody takes three points of damage. Ooh. So the easiest way of evening that out, as he just goes and casts magic missile at every skeleton around him. Wild. <laughs> and chorus. <laughs> so two he's up. Yeah. Keys. I'm going to cast Dissonant Whispers. Dissonant Whispers on him. And he's going to make a Wisdom Saving Throw. You can actually whisper stuff to him now. Nothing. <laughs> uh, my spell save is 15. That's how he beats. Oh. We are playing 5th edition D&D. We're playing a Skeleton the Homebrew game created by Sam. Um, and... Uh, yes. <laughs> What can I add to this? I can't add anything else to this. <laughs> uh, on a successful save, take half as much damage, doesn't have to move. Uh, that is 13 total. Half. Cool. So, you, how does the spell work? Um, Are you whispering something? I whisper a discordant melody. Um, ooh, what quick theme song can I do? I... Ooh, what you say? <laughs> yeah. So, you, you scream that and he just goes, ah, oh, and just kind of crumbles to the ground. Mm. Ah, good move. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Yeah. That's and good. that's the end of initiative. Hooray! Yay. I go to the orb. <laughs> you walk up to the orb? Yep. You're right, Papa? The orb kind of just adapts. <laughs> and lying inside the cage with a dagger that seems to be stabbed into the side looks like whatever we're calling him, Puppy, Puppy, he's got less daddy. He looks like he's lying there and he's clutching this like very powerful looking staff 
and he's just like, I lost contact with you, but I didn't at the same time. But didn't you say he had the star? No, he wanted the star. Oh, <laughs> it, it helps with raising dead. But <laughs> does you, you you shouldn't be sentient like this. This is this is strange. Sometimes I don't feel sentient. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> can can you get me out of the cage at least? I can try. Ask me to stop and I'll bash it open. Oh, oh. Ooh, I have open cage. Yeah, I have. I can use my cunning bonus action to roll deck sleight of hand for disarming, opening locks, or using objects. Cool. Yeah. So in the middle, <laughs> can you stop? There's uh, roll me just plus proficiency and sleight of hand. 13 plus 3 plus 7, so that's 23. Cool. So you just sort of quickly bash around with something, and then suddenly the door opens, and it's almost like the staff is being handed out an open door, and he kind of stops. You're within grabbing range of this. Do you still want to grab it? I'm grabbing. <laughs> I need a consistent strength check against him. Oh, no. Uh, 16. Oh, that's what it's strength save, right? Uh, no, check. So it'd be um, athletics. Athletics. Oh, so that's more than 16, that's a uh, 19. So you just pulled the staff out of his hand, he's just like, ah. I got the... <laughs> and he just kind of leaves one, uh, but the staff, I need that back. It's, you're my creation, give it back to me. But now I want the staff. There's a dead guy right next to us if you want to try and raise it. I'm not, you know, no. I start raising the dead guy. You raise the dead guy. Your staff essentially gives you unlimited use of raised dead. You'll snoo that. There's something like, at least help me before I pass away. Someone help him. I place my dagger into him. <laughs> This is an advantage and a surprise attack because he's not expecting his thing to kill him. Those are uh, both 16. Both 16 plus 5, so 21. That'll hit him. Uh, and, then... and then damage. That's a d4 plus 2d6. The surprise attack. Yeah. <laughs> that's 10 and 6, so that's 16 damage. <laughs> and then he just gets to the extra thing, he's like, ah! <laughs> really? Why would you do that? No, Dad! <laughs> Don't worry, I'll wake you up afterwards! <laughs> what a bus! What a bus! I'm gonna do a vicious mockery thing on that. <laughs> oh, you know it. Pull the, the final dagger. <laughs> as you, as I'm just letting you have it, he just stabs the sorcerer and just and cuts the liquor. And he comes down and dies. And I raise him. You raise him up again. You have the choice to give him sentience like I'll, the rest of you. I'll give him. Can I give him sentience, but I still have command over him? You, you're holding a staff that commands. Okay, so I'll give him sentience. Cool. You give him sentience, he sort of reanimates up and he's like, Well, we well, better eat today. <laughs> but I was to be a lich, not you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we'll leave this. <laughs> I'm so happy you stabbed him. <laughs> what the dream is very well is trying to betray <laughs> any opportunity. So, oh, yeah. Goodness. I hope that was my goal from the beginning. <laughs> that was brilliant. I hope you enjoyed it. I yeah. Yeah. All right. I had a few other variations on the island that mm -hmm. existed. Um, to the very north was a cobalt goblin market, Ooh. where there were two more of those rocks. 
Um, and the what? other this town, yeah. This this well, where is it? Um, so not going to exist anymore. This town here was more like a um half a sort of trading town sort of situation. It basically had more town guards, so this one was more guards and sort of average villages. If you'd gone in there, that would have been interesting. If you went to this one, there were two guards that would hang around there, and most of them were fishermen. Ah. And they probably would have run away from you. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> so yeah, there's, and there's a few other in interludes on the island that would have been interesting as well. And, and if you had attempted to walk through to there, there would have been a bunch of strength saves or you would have been taken with the current out to sea. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready for that. <laughs> Oh, what is the donation total up to? Oh, what are we hitting now? Um, if my phone decided to actually wake up. <laughs> that was a great thing. That was a good one shot. Thank you, Sam. I'm, so, I'm so excited to be uh, going. 277. Oh, oh man. Well, what if we do the stream when we do switch over or keep it? Yeah, we'll look at the end of the stream over. Yeah. Well, <laughs> thank, you for thing. thank you for everyone who donated. Yeah. It's, it's, it's been a very interesting weekend for me, <laughs> and this was a very good way to end the, 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 the end of the stream with this strangely chaotic game. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm going to try, just because of how fun this was, I'm going to try and make this like more official so other people could run it as well, because this, yeah. this turned out quite well. It's fun to be a skeleton. <laughs> it, it's reminiscent to a goblin one-shot kind of thing, mm. but... I just, I just think finding the skeleton homebrew race online, just using a skeleton, is just it gives it that extra bit of sanity of yeah. weirdness. And uh, normally the skeleton races can talk as part of the homebrew race, but I added the difficulty of them not talking because I wanted to add this challenge so you couldn't just as a skeleton walk up to someone and say, I'm not going to kill you, I'm just a skeleton. Because mm. I thought that would be kind of silly. Because yeah. why would a skeleton actively want to try and avoid that? But <laughs> <laughs> thankfully, you got the exact players who didn't want to be normal. Yeah, yeah. Quite well. <laughs> What's that? So you know what to switch it. Oh yeah. Final. Yeah. Well, fi final goodbye. It's a goodbye from me. Goodbye from me. And, and, and it's a goodbye from him. Bye. <laughs>